Okay. Are we live? Okay. Seems good. Uh, so where were we? We just got spiders. Uh, we've got a bit more research ticking over. Um, I was working on a build for Cryonite. I think we'll finish that and then we'll go do some... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Building of the new main bus base in orbit. Bring the construction spiders with me. Wait, let's get them to finish this if they can. They cannot. I'll get them to go resupply. One click travel, very nice. Uh, while we're waiting for that, let's check on... Military spiders haven't come back yet. And we should probably have a couple more spiders ready. Exactly two more. Alright, let's continue with that. I can't remember what I had left to figure out with this build. I think just the shape of the furnace and uh, furnaces and getting the resources down to the train stops, including the stone, which is kind of a nuisance product. Okay. Would have been better if we got here during the day. Um, I think we'll do it this way. I could put that up here, but that's probably just going to make belting more difficult. And where, oh where, are these belts going to go? And why is this one facing the wrong way? Oh, I've got some accumulators. Why don't we let the bots finish this? Just a few more up here. Oh, never mind. It's done. Does that mean there's some bots trailing behind our... construction spiders? I don't see them. Anyway... So each set of seven of these produces 34 washed cryonite per second. There's four of them. We've got uh, two, three, one, two, three, four, eight input rows to reach. Seems fairly obvious how we should go about it. Um, if we do this one like so. One, two versus five for each side of the belt. Five on one side of the belt is still a little bit less than half a belt, but only if you ignore the stone. So we need a proper merge over here. I'm going to need to move the substation a bit, I think. I mean, obviously. And we were going to have to have a splitter anyway, so that works out. And don't forget an output for this one. Then we just need to... 
connect to these ones. And do basically the same thing on the other side. Probably put this here. Um, that should be fine. We just need to merge and split these two. Uh, how should I go about it? I guess this is fine. It doesn't look great, but it'll do. Actually, yeah, no, it has to be there. Alright, let's get ourselves some more blue belt. Down this way, please. And I'll get the construction spiders to come back as well. And while we're waiting on that, um, I don't suppose there's no way to automatically deploy the Spidertrons remotely, is there? So I guess we'll just wait till we go back to base to make more military spiders. Okay. Um, substation placement here is a little bit unfortunate. That's a bit better. That's much better. And what about this one? Let's start from the bottom for these and see where we end up. I wish that was connected. Can we fix it? I feel like that's a bit neater. And that just leaves the one on the side. Looking good. Where's our spiders? Almost here. And once we confirm that's all working properly, uh, we'll bring it over to this side as well. And this goes here. Um, I can't remember exactly how I did this part. Let's copy it. So this is on the outside. That makes sense. I think it's like that. Perfect. And substation goes here. And what are we missing? A few from the bottom. What? Oh, that was there from before. I think that's not quite right. These should be further up. As far up as they go before they disconnect. Wait, what? Uh, the beacons are different on this side. I haven't changed those yet. I 
I could use picker dollies for this bit. And this should be up here. That looks about right. Okay. So this one goes here. Should be biased towards the middle, I think. Hello. Oh, I see. And these two go like so. Why does that not reach? And it did over here. Oh, I see. It actually does reach. It's just being weird with the wires. That looks like it's probably symmetrical. And then we just need to fix these two. That's the outside one. So I think we already placed that substation. So if we flip this around, that goes there. And... I think that's it, except for some substations up here. So that one goes there. This one directly above here. And why are we still missing power for these two? Oh, because we didn't power this yet. That looks pretty good. Can we shove this over a bit? Nice and neat, except for that random wire. Actually, are these already powered? Fantastic. Wait, what's this? There we go. Alright. Next thing we need to do is take stone that reaches the end of this belt and get rid of it. Um, the only trouble is what I was going to do was have something like this. And the inserter would take from the bit of the splitter that's sticking out. But I don't have room to do that on the outside belts anymore. I could always just use filter inserters. There's not going to be much uh, stone throughput. I don't love having to do it this way, but... It actually makes the most sense. Although I suppose, um, I think I know a way to do it with belts actually. We just connect a couple of pieces of wire here. This one's not going to do anything. This one's going to read belt contents hold. And... 
I was gonna say enable disable washed cryonite has to be equal to zero, but I don't think that's gonna work. Because it's just never gonna empty. Yeah, no, never mind. Oops. Filter inserters it is. Okay. And then we need quite a lot of cryonite rods, or belts to be precise, to make their way over to four cargo wagons. Do we have enough room to do it here? We got one, two, uh, it's six. Six outputs for cryonite rods, unfortunately. So if we're going to balance them, we need... Um, we, either, we need everything into, to merge into one place and either have a proper balancer or just have it all merge in and use... Uh, One, two... I guess the rest is going to come from this side. Is it okay if we just have a balanced loader? The only trouble is we've got disconnected... Um, cryonite inputs up the top, so depending on the train stations, it comes down this side or this side. can't rely on that to balance it. So I think everything is going to have to be merged. And if that's the case, I think we're going to run out of space up here. So if we put it on the other side, um, we don't have a massive abundance of... We've only got three lanes down here, so I think what we're going to have to do is have some outputs going through the underground like so. I do have a four to six balancer. I mean a six to four. I haven't actually used a six to four, I don't think. Um, it's not going to be throughput unlimited. But I don't know if that's going to matter. I don't think it is. Okay. Whoops. Uh, six to four. The thing is, it's not going to fit in the shape that it's been given to us. So I might have to redesign it a bit. Basically, I need to... tear this up a bit and change it so that the profile is flatter with the inputs coming from the sides. That could be a problem. In fact, I'm sure it will be a problem. A wonder graph. How are you today? What's going on? Uh, yeah, not too bad. Trying to get back into streaming full length, six hours. See how I go today. Uh, so we're a couple of tiles short. And I don't really know... It doesn't have to be perfectly balanced. 
you know what? We don't actually need a proper belt balancer. We just need six lanes to merge into four. And the balance loader down here is going to handle where everything goes. We just need each lane to be able to get to each other lane. And as far as the belts go, the ratios don't matter. So that's going to look a little something like this. I mean, you can use underground belts there. Uh, through here, yeah. Let's see. Two, two three, four, five, six, seven. Copy, paste, paste. And then... Red wire. Everything less than or equal to zero. Uh, copy this, and paste, paste, paste. Okay, that's our balancer. Now we just need to merge things with enough throughput so that each belt can get to each other belt. I mean to cut the, the balancer height. Wrap those straight line and cut it to one time. Wrap straight line and cut it to one tile. This one? That would definitely help. But yeah, since we don't actually have to do the balancing on the belt side of things, and we do need to balance what goes into the chests anyway. Uh, I think this will work okay. And then we need... We need to merge 6 into 4. I don't think this is going to do it. Because we need this to be able to get over here if possible. I need the smallest possible form factor for this to be able to get over... It'd make it a lot easier if I had some blue belt on me. Um, this needs to be able to get over here and vice versa, but the actual balancing in the belts doesn't matter. 3-1-2 splitters? 3-1-2... Three, one, two. Three, two, one, two. Not sure if I. Oh, right. I think I gotcha. Yeah. That's actually. That's actually all it takes, isn't it? I think you're right. Now, if we have undergrounds like this, do we have enough room? Just barely. And it might be a problem. Uh, well, okay, this one is just gonna over here. The fact that it's not in the middle is going to make things a bit more complicated as well. This is going to go here, and then we don't have... I might just have to move this one. Yeah, that's functionally the same, isn't it? So that goes there. That goes there. 
and so on. Last but not least. And then I should have actually checked this before, but I'm pretty sure. Uh oh. I was going to say I'm pretty sure we have room to make this part work, but could be wrong. Or at least not in the way that I imagined. And this goes here. That goes there, and this one has to... Actually, that's fine. That works, I guess. It looked like it... It looks like it sprang forth from Cthulhu, but I guess that's okay. Now, can we accomplish this and also get the stone to where it needs to go? More than likely. Just to confirm, the entire thing is only going to produce... 17.36 stone per second at maximum is more than I was expecting. But it's still considerably less than even half a belt. So we don't have to worry at all about the layout belts as long as we can get things where they need to go and this one we'll just do like this that's a good fit can we line these up together for the aesthetics I think I'm pretty happy with that. Let's commit to it. And this one... That's fine, I guess. Okay. That's obviously pretty easy, this part. We can't go underground through there, it's going to have to go this way. Should be not a problem. I kind of want these to line up now. Except, move this over here. Actually, I think we'll move that up here. Might look a little bit better. That one's going to be a bit of a nuisance. Um, but basically... Basically, we just need to merge the rest of this stone in over here. Probably just do that like so. Let's just draw it with normal belts to start with. I think, uh... Oh, I actually forgot the train long enough for it to go back. Sorry about that, Mr. Train. At least I won't have to remember to turn it around this time. Okay. Okay. 
This is going to go here. And these ones. I think one belt will be more than enough along this way. Even the side of the belt doesn't matter. Since we need an underground any... That's unfortunate. Um, I suppose this will have to do. And last one. That just leaves the usual steps. Negative 24 each. Everything less than or equal to zero. That should do it. Wait, why is it only... There we go. Alright, now where do the substations go? Substation... They're not going to line up neatly with anything else, unfortunately. So I guess I'll just put it here. And for this one... We don't need a fancy loader or anything. LTN... Standard pickup and connect like so. Don't forget to change the station name before it's operational. And stone pickup. Cryonite rod pickup. Red wire goes here, and green goes here. Cool, oh, I think that's done. We got a whopping 500 stone here already. Um, I do wonder... oh, there it is. I felt like we weren't getting any more cryonite, but apparently we are. Dark sky full of stars. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, the stack inserter can't keep up. Easily fixed. Uh, something. Wait. Something's not right over there, let's just do that manually. You forgot a belt? Where did I forget a belt? Oh, true. And probably a few more, no doubt. Others look okay. That should just about do the trick. We've already got 9,000 cryonite rods. 
Fantastic. So we're at about a tenth of all of the cryonite rods we brought back from Mars already. Um, I am surprised... How much have we got here? 10k. Considering... Oh, that would probably help. I was going to say, considering I set both of these requests the same, I would have thought LTN would be balancing these out a bit more. Even though, especially because I'm only requesting a couple of train loads for each. But... It's because I forgot the minor detail of actually setting up this LTN station. Fantastic. Looks like everything's going at full speed. Wait, how much water does this consume? Probably not much. 336 per second. Wait, it's net 112 per second. So the pipe, the pump over here is going to easily, easily keep up with that. I see lots of rods not getting loaded or unless we can't see it. Rods not getting loaded. Uh, the outputs are full. Oh. I think we need to load these a bit faster. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. This is... A theor the whole thing is theoretically up to four blue belts. Um, but the balanced loader is slowing us down too much. Well, no, it's slowing down because rods have to get to the other side. And it's, this belt is slow because we're not filling out this one fast enough. I guess, yeah, that'll sort itself out. That's okay. Just super full, yeah. It does look like it's starting to move a little bit faster. Um, a lane balancer would probably help as well, because I'm only seeing rods get taken from one side, for the most part. I don't know, everything is moving through here. I guess if this part isn't stopping then it should be okay, right? Theoretically? No. The whole thing can do maximum just under four blue belts. And we've got four blue belts that everything can go through here. I think the problem is our merger isn't throughput unlimited. But I think when we get both sides going at full speed, that'll actually fix it effectively, because, weird, as weird as that sounds, it's because this is trying to get over here. Because it's not throughput unlimited, and this needs to get all the way over here, and we have the balanced loader down here, that's why that's getting slowed down. And also the balanced loader not being... Hmm. Does this... This doesn't act as a... 50% goes to the middle, 50% goes to the middle. Middle to the outside is balanced. This is a... Is this a balancer? It's just not throughput unlimited? No, you need 
the outside ones here to to merge and then split and then go to where they're going. There isn't really room to make that happen. Well, I mean, for now it is way beyond our needs for cryonite, but it does kind of bother me to leave this bottleneck here. But I think rather than spend time on that right now, I would prefer to get into orbit and continue that build. Okay. Right after I build a few more military spiders. It's not going to run through the water. Well, not in a way that's a problem. Wouldn't a splitter be faster to step separate the stone? It seems like it's bottlenecking there. Um, there's not very much stone. I forgot to put a radar. Let's go do that. There's only... I think it's like 17 stone per second through the whole thing. And that's across uh, like 8 belts. With one filter inserter for each. I could make it a, um, yeah, it's, the only reason this isn't, uh, okay, maybe we could split the stone off a bit earlier, if it's actually making the belt stop sometimes. This isn't smelting because there's no stone here, so this isn't... No, that's not a problem. There aren't actually... Okay, there's hardly ever furnaces that are not smelting because they can only see stone. Still, no, that might need improvement. Uh, let's put a radar down... I was going to say here... This seems the more obvious spot. If we do split the stone off, uh, where can we do it? I think we'll need eight splitters to do that, unfortunately. And we could just have the stone go down parallel to this. This one's going to be more of a problem. I suppose we could always just do it this way. This one go. Kind of want those to line up if I can. OK, 
Okay, what about this side? Only one place where that one could go. I guess we'll just do it after this inserter. Should be okay. And on this side. Line it up. I guess it's that easy. And we'll add a underground over here. Alright, same treatment for this side. This one. Come to think of it, I guess the splitter could have been a couple of tiles lower. And is this what we did over here? Yep. Towards the middle. And I think there's one more somewhere. We could definitely move these down a bit. one. Okay. That should help. I wonder why we don't have any cryonite here yet. Um, Pagan... Has cryonite, but no delivery cannon capsules. No low density structures. That's a little bit alarming. Where did I make the cannon? Have we actually run out? No, there's, no, there's just two on the way for some reason. Hey, Dune. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the raid. How was your stream? Welcome, raiders. Do we just... We've actually run out of LDS in the main bus base. Um, I should probably make something... I mean, I could put something right here. But, uh, no, I should probably make a rail block. Um, this is a giant sushi rail block for sending lots of things via cannon. I could use that, I guess. But it's a really specific set of things that I want to send via cannon that... I'm going to be repeating this in the future. Uh, so I think we'll do a build for sending 
I'm probably going to change this so that we're making uh, global anti-media defense, maybe. But these four things, definitely. We could probably make a rail block that'll support many planets. Actually, are we already putting... We're not putting delivery cannon capsules themselves into the rail network, are we? No, I think it makes more sense to just manufacture them locally. Stream is good. Just starting SE2. Nice. Lots of fun to be had in SE. Wouldn't a splitter be fast? Oh yeah, definitely. Also, Mass420, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Move the stone sooner, if you can, to help the machines from stopping. Um, do you mean where I shifted it by two tiles? I think it's not going to make that much of a difference, because... Well, again, there's, um, there's very little stone that's actually going to be coming through here. 17 in total for the whole thing. Um, but... It's... There's no inserters in this space. So it should be about the same. Okay. Um, I'm just deciding whether to make... That's a lot of delivery cannon shells. Oh, those are specific delivery cannon shells as well that I haven't consumed. Yeah, I think instead of this giant thing again, we'll make something a bit more specific. I guess we could put a rail block up here if we do some... There's no copper left here, is there? No. If we do a little bit of landfill. I would kind of like to have the delivery cannon send and receive things right next to each other. I need to change my name. Ten years ago I thought the 420 thing was funny. Now it's just awkward. Maybe. I mean, it's probably fine. What was... That's a storage chest. Hmm. We could probably connect these robo networks and have the bots drain all of this stuff. Um, might be a bit more work than I initially thought to clear this stuff out. We'll see. I should make some deconstruction spiders. Specifically for picking stuff up. Keep their uh, inventory empty except for construction bots and maybe repair packs. Better awkward than cringe, I guess. Diacus, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, how overfilled are these guys going to be? Too much, probably. And this old rail goes to... The old wall. We can get rid of that. Or if I'm wrong, we can easily reconnect it.
Oh, there's still some copper over here. I really... I can't really be bothered removing it, to be honest. And my inventory is also about to be full. Let's place what we can here for now. And we will need some landfill. Where is my landfill? I'm not requesting it. Wasn't there a recipe to make landfill out of copper? Do I need a machine to do that? Recycling facility. I don't think I have one handy. I can make one. Niron Wolf, thank you for the host. Much appreciated. Okay, let's do that, I guess. It seems a bit wasteful, if not for the fact that infinite resources do exist in this game. That's space exploration. Where's the RoboPod? There we go. Give it a bit more speed. Actually, we're bottlenecked on the inserter, I believe. Oh yeah, definitely. Not prod that. Hmm. At this rate... going to take a while. So let's do this. And logistics request copper zero. Should have done that before. Where's number seven or eight? I think there are only seven of them. Alright. Just in case we need some more. And then... All of this needs some landfill. Should get itself sorted out. Uh, don't forget this part. Where are you off to? Oh, that was already queued up. Okay, let's get started. As much as there's a couple of distractions for now. Where are my signals? Have I run out of rail? No. Nope. Uh, rail signal... Here. And what are we doing again? Cannons. 
I do happen to have 20 of them on me, so that's good. We require... Maybe I should do the easier recipe for the delivery cannon capsules. Just iridium plate and explosives, that's... Oh wait, the point is to send the regular resources. Um... I mean, either way, I could make this out of iridium plate, but for now, I think iridium plate is more precious than bringing this other advanced stuff together. So we're going to need copper explosives, heat shield, LDS. And for that we're going to need a couple of train stations. That one goes there, that one goes there. Since the resources we need to send are the same ones we need to make a delivery cannon capsule out of, that kind of simplifies things. And over this way as well. Let's see. LTM standard uh standard pickup. No, standard drop off. I think I may have put the wrong This is a request threshold, that's normal. This is a provide threshold, okay cool. Uh this is a drop off station. Uh slime of the Jims, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And we're going to be requesting uh, copper and explosives over here. Let's turn this off until we're ready. Just a couple of train loads. Um, explosives is 8k per train load. And this is going to be called copper plate and explosives request. And I think we're ready. Just need some filter inserted. Actually, I think I might do the thing here where they share a belt from the beginning. Copper plate, explosive. I was going to do that at least until I considered that copper plate is not actually what we need to... No, this'll, this'll be fine. So if that's the case, maybe I'll just do one row of chests. And we can probably do the same thing on the other side. Um, this side is going to be heat shielding and LDS. Low density structure. We're only asking for two train loads of each, so this is still plenty of storage. You're going to make copper cables locally? Yes. That is correct. 
Should be a train on the way here already. What did that say? No path. That shouldn't be too surprising, I guess. Did we actually go through all of that copper already? Didn't even make enough landfill to fill these out. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Alright, let's add... Well, for one thing... Let's add those resources we want to keep empty over here. Stone, coal, tree, I mean wood. And then landfill. Just one stack. Was it this one? Okay, I think I got them all. Off you go. And I think I'll resupply as well, actually. Quite a bit quicker. That needs to be removed. Um, might be easier if we do it this way. This whole station needs to go. We could probably fit another rail block here as well. Might be a good spot for more oil. And time to make some more military spiders. Actually, oh, that's more than I was hoping for. Uh, I think I would like to save a couple of these to make deconstruction spiders. Except, I just realized... The first thing I need to do with those is go through every single item... Except for, like, construction bots and set them to zero. That's going to be a bit of a nuisance. So, I guess we'll just make some more military spiders first. A Veldek. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, if I'm going to make a whole bunch of spiders all at once, I need to be carrying more armor. Where the, the armor is. I think I'm requesting exactly four of them, so let's turn off my personal requests. And... Missing two portable RTGs. That's going to be a bit slower. Okay. Let's update... The remote. And apart from the fact that they need to wait for rockets, which are over here. They should be ready to roll over some biters quite soon. Back to the build. How's our batteries doing at this rate? They're actually almost full. That's pretty good. That's very good, actually. Right, once we see the cloud of rockets stop around the spiders, um, we can probably send them on an errand. Oh, 
away goes the sulfur. And how quickly is this getting emptied? Relatively quickly. Right, so we're going to need ourselves some uh, balanced unloaders, I think. No, that's... Is that going to be okay? As long as we don't use the lane balancer part. Yeah, that should be fine. And the left side. Um, I need to set this a little bit differently from usual. Copper plate equals zero for these ones. Explosives equals zero for these ones. And same thing over here. Heat shielding. And LDS. Okay. Train still doesn't have a way to get here, I imagine. Looks like that's enough. Rail block. Go. This part needs to be moved. Try again. And here's our copper. We'll start by putting in some substations. Is that actually... yeah, it is. Nice and neat. Alright, cool. So that is... That's actually correct. That's fine. Okay. So we're going to need to make ourselves some... Uh, delivery cannon capsules. What are the bots doing? Oh no, are they over full? Yeah, they've got stuff they shouldn't be carrying. Uh, I'm definitely going to try that um, what's the word I'm looking for? Logistics Requests Manager, or whatever the mod's called. Before next stream, I think. I basically need everything on a spider to be set to zero by default. And to go through every single item, um, that's going to be a problem. Just do this for now, I guess. And try and keep them away from deconstructing things like that. Whoops. Did I just take everything from that spider? I possibly could. Yeah. 
Let's just chuck the ammo in here. And one more, if I can find it. There we go. Okay. Delivery cannon capsule. How fast is one of these? Very slow, actually. Okay, so what I'm going to want here is uh, basically just a bunch of machine making delivery cannon machine machines making delivery cannon capsules and cannons to send this stuff to places. I guess it's going to be super overkill having this much space for it, but we're not going to need an output train stop. Um, we can just... We could just have more space available for expanding this out later. I'm thinking... Just four belts down the... No, it's only two belts that we need, right? Yeah, two belts down the middle. Oh, you can't move a splitter like that. We need to make some copper cable. Where's my assembly machines? I think they're set to zero on my requests, that's why. I'm just trying to think what the best layout for this is. Obviously, we'll have some machines making a cup of cable. I guess we could use some beacons for it. I could just put them there. How many of those is uh, going to uh, support speed modules? Delivery cannon capsule. Okay, 47. That's more than a blue belt of copper cable. That's pretty good. And that could support... Uh, just under 14 of these machines going at full speed. Which... Would give us 4.5... Delivery cannon capsules per second, that is probably more than enough. But uh, just to be absolutely sure. No, I think that's. I mean, that's definitely going to be fine for a long time. Let's just do it like this. And so cannons. Wait, we need to make the actual capsules, don't we? Why is this on the wrong side? I forgot the this one might have uh Is set to remove that stuff yet. I don't think I'm going to come up with a shape that I like for this that's going to use up all this space eventually. We can always try again later.
That's not gonna work. We can make it work. I think. Yeah, no, that's right. Wait, these two are already in the beacon. How fast would they be? Only 10.5 per second. Okay. I think for now we're just going to do it like this. Cannons. Can't drag these? Yeah, it can. Kidding me, I have to move this after all that. Probably. Why is this one not because I didn't set it up yet? Heat shielding and LDS, and they both stack to fifty, I believe. Heat shielding. Uh two train loads. LDS. And connect, and connect, and turn that off because I forgot to set the name for the station. Heat shielding, LDS, quest. And I think I'm going to have to move all of these down a tile. Unfortunate. Actually, we could just do this. This time. Kind of need that to reach through to the middle. Um, that's... A little bit unfortunate. I'll just place the belts first and figure out the substations after that. Okay, let's do these in order of the resources. Copper. Wait, how many do I have? 20. Uh, explosives. Heat shielding and LDS. of receiver dishes here. One for each planet that we're sending to. I think if I copy paste this it's gonna have the settings that I need. This might get a bit messy actually. Uh cannabis, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I guess it was too much to hope for I made room in the Spider-Trons for signal receivers. Hagen DC chess. Okay. I'm gonna remove this one. Just 
Costco Taquitos. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Giacus, thank you also. And let's copy paste that. And I think I'll just... I'm going to have to be careful with the wires. I only want one of these connected for each um, different destination. Um, come to think of it, the way I'm looking to set this up, the wires could be a problem. So I want that to go there, and then to one of the coppers, one of the explosives, one of the LDS and one of the heat shields. Uh, thanks for the bunk, I guess. Kind of good cannabis. I think I'm going to have to, like... Because I want to have... With at least this iteration of it, I want to be able to fit five satellite dishes and five different wire networks across all of these. Um, I might have to piggyback, uh, piggyback them off of the belts, I think. So that's just going to be set to nothing. This one is explosives greater than zero. Copper plate greater than zero. Six nine four two zero. Yes, indeed. And then same thing over here. Except we change that to LDS, and this becomes heat shielding, and then we connect these two. No condition on this, and that should be it for now. And then we just need to add the usual long arms, short arms to each of these pairs. And then we need to point these five, oh, sorry, four at Hagen. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Hagen, that doesn't work. Okay. Uh, Hagen. Hagen. Here we go. So you should currently not be sending copper plate. Uh shielding on the other hand. What are you waiting for? Delivery cannon capsules. It would probably help if we put these here. And 
this one should be ready to fire as soon as it gets a capsule. Oh. I should probably... Well, it's fine. They're not set to do anything yet. Hagen. Yeah. Oh, and uh, I kind of forgot. I probably accidentally removed the steel and coal from that system as well. Whoops. Uh, I should have thought of that. That's kind of embarrassing. Uh, but is it going to get our... Uh, cryonite flowing again? I'm surprised how slowly we're making these... Um, can't really fit a beacon anywhere that's quite appropriate here. What are, what are these things pointing up? Uh, these are delivery cannons. They send things to other planets with... Uh, on a projectile course. So currently we're sending things to Hagen. Uh, so that we can make delivery cannon capsules over there and send back four fragments. Delivery go burr. Delivery do indeed go burr. I think instead of building this the way I did, um, what I should do is like a small self-contained thing that'll deliver to one planet that we can copy-paste. Obviously that's going to take up a lot less space than one of these rail blocks. Maybe I could make it fit a quarter or something. Something to think about for next time. Um, but Hagen should have... Where are the explosives? Explosives. Oh, did I not target this one? That'd probably be why. Away you go. And then we can send this stuff back. And... That's not it. That's Vitamelange. That's what we're looking for. Fantastic. So the Cryonite will continue to flow, at least for a while. I'm sure the uh, spiders are armed by now. Get the construction spiders back home as well. Let's send our military spiders on a hunt. How much did it take you to get to this point in the mega base? Uh, quite a long time. I haven't exactly been going as fast as I can, but we're 14 days into this playthrough. I've definitely been dragging my feet a bit, though. But I am learning space exploration as I go. Oh, bots are being abandoned. Wait, no, they're trying to supply those things. 83 streams, yes. There's a, there's a lot to do in space exploration, and I definitely haven't been doing it as quickly as possible.
I was also, um, one thing I did not expect is just how resource slow, um, space exploration was to start with. Wait, why do I have ammo? There we go. Carrying way too much of that. I should probably, um, What was I going to say? Where are my life supports? Did I forget to carry them or something? Oh, it's set to zero. That's probably why. What was I saying? I actually don't remember. Only 21 hours 7... 21 days, 7 hours in. What are those white assembly machines? Uh, these ones? They basically just work in space. Uh, but other than that, they're the same as an assembly machine 3. The giant... Uh, giant white machines like this are... Just really big, really fast assembly machines. Um, you do need them for certain recipes. Uh, Borod Dima, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I think we're ready to jump back into space for a bit. Where are my life supports? Are they not coming? On the way, zero. Wait, am I... Oh, I forgot to turn this on. That's why. Yeah, that'll definitely help tidy up the inventory a bit. Um, life support duration, 7 minutes, 15 seconds, plus 4 hours. Okay. I probably don't need that many life support things. Five days, eight hours here, hoping to make my own spiders tonight. Nice. Um, don't need to carry this many pipes. In fact, I don't need to carry any regular pipes in space, but for now, I'll just make a bit more room in my inventory. Oh, that's right, the military spiders. Let's see how strong they are now. I'm not even going to make them zigzag. That's pretty effective, but if I'm not careful, the one at the front does take damage, like, quite a bit. Thirty hours in and struggling to automate blue signs. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bit more complicated than vanilla. To say the least. Let's have them do some laps. And we can probably have them go home after that. It really is kind of all too easy as long as you're willing to spend a lot of rockets. I do wish I could configure them to only use the rockets on... Um, stationary targets or something. Alright, let's head into space, shall we? Just triple check that this is empty. Good. What was that? And away we go. 
seem about 30 hours and struggling getting blue efficient. It's a process. Yeah, indeed. Uh, hey, no ones. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so time to place some more scaffolding. We're actually getting pretty close to having enough to really start building this base. Um, that's probably enough. Let's go. I forgot to see about bringing a spider up here. I know I can definitely do it if I just, like, put the spider in my inventory. Okay, let's do this way. And see how far that blueprint goes. Oh boy. Like, here, we've got another... seven or eight lanes to go. FPS drops go brr, they do indeed. Okay, looks like I just placed all of my scaffolding. And we've still got a bit further to go. Bots are keen to do things. Kind of making a rhythm. Back to... Get some scaffolding. Let's get to the end of this part. We're up to Vita Melange, so I think we're near the end. Let's do this first, since we've got to drop all the frames for this part. That looks right. Alright, cool, we're at the end. Give back the scaffolding. Okay, down the bottom. Oh, that was lucky. So this goes, continues down this way, a bit beyond where that other build reaches. I'm never making a blueprint this big again. The main thing we need to place that can't be compromised on is belts and pipes and power things, but that goes without saying. It's so loud. 
Let's go get some more scaffolding. Tuck, would you like a gift? I remade that blueprint with scaffolding under it. Oh, t hacks. Uh, you can paste it back into your Discord. Oh, you mean you put the scaffolding under everything that needs scaffolding? That would be great, actually. I should have done that myself. Let's go grab some more. Although, it's still going to be a lot of plot jobs to place it and or I need to do it manually, but it's going to be easy to see what I need to do. What part do you think is the most fun in Factorio? Um, that's kind of hard to say because you have different challenges and satisfactions in, in Factorio. It's like different things that you get out of the same game are like apples to orange comparisons. Some buffer left for robos. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's not there yet. It's red. All right, let's continue. Obviously going to need this over here. We're getting relatively close to having all the scaffolding placed anyway, except for the main bus part, I'm definitely going to place the absolute minimum, I think. Uh, let's go grab some more. Which science is this? Energy. We haven't done energy yet, so... It's not like we can have just energy in labs down here and the other sciences up here, and that'll research, right? Give me more scaffolding, please. That was kind of cool, running alongside the cannon shell. I think for all the time that I'm spending being careful about where to place the scaffolding, I'll probably do it just as quick by just going for it. And we can always trim it if I'm wrong. That part there is missing just a little bit. Hey, Mucky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thank you very much for the sub. Six months, wow. I didn't even realize I'd been doing this for six months. Thank you very much, again. How you been? Still doing that build with the... Like, eight belts, eight blue belts or whatever it is. Eleven K, yeah. That is a target. Trains look like they'll be sorted now. Fantastic. And then... I think... Something here... I wish I could make the sound a little bit quieter for placing the um, scaffolding tiles, but what can you do? Oh, this is into the main bus. I don't want to use scaffolding for everything there. We're getting relatively close, though. Or at least if you exclude the main bus. Come on. 
little robots. There you go. Maybe I should turn off my robot for, for this part. Well, that's right, I wanted to make a nuclear plant up here as well. Okay. We've probably got enough scaffolding to get the build done now. Maybe. If not, I'm sure there'll be another... I keep wanting to say train. It's actually a cargo rocket. Full of scaffolding. Actually need to go down here a bit. Maybe I should paint all of this out first, and then compare it to the blueprint and trim it a bit. Or is it not going to show on the map where I'm trying to do that? Yeah, it's not. Okay. Check the Discord now, hope it helps. Okay, thank you. Uh, the message. Input. String. Failed. I think I need to... I think I need to copy it like this, and then trim the M off the end. Input string. Uh, what? To make left. Okay, I'm gonna have to open the text file, I guess. Message dot text. Okay. Import string. That took a moment to paste. And oh god. Oh the frames. What is even happening right now? I think it's upset. Uh, uh, okay, maybe I'll try going over there instead of looking at the map. Turn off the grid? Oh. Where did the blueprint go? Um, let's see. Inventory is full. Let's get rid of you for a second. Input string paste. Input. I, I'm trying to bring up my inventory. We're at 8 UPS or less. Okay, there it is. Uh, snap to grid. And there we go. What's with this line up the top? Also, there's something down there that doesn't line up. What is that? Oh, it's probably just that the scaffolding isn't there yet. Okay, I think... There seems to be a bunch of scaffolding up here that we don't need, but other than that, let's see how we, how it looks. Um, OK. 
can't really see it on the map. Okay, we can definitely use that as a guide. Fantastic. Don't really need that part, I don't think. Wait, what? Like your words, magic man. Sorry about that top line border. I couldn't remove it easily from the tiny preview screen. No worries. All right, let's get it done, shall we? And it's gone. At least one more trip. Is that blueprint from a previous playthrough? Uh, I designed... I, I decided to design a whole quote-unquote small main bus base uh, for just the basic space sciences. And I probably should have decided to be okay with less throughput, but basically I arbitrarily picked, okay, I'm going to have one space manufactory with no speed modules in it and we're going to ratio we're going to build the machines that it takes to keep one of these going at full speed for each science pack turns out this is what it takes for energy science to do that not counting the externalities like dealing with scrap um so the base ended up being quite a bit bigger than i intended but I didn't particularly feel like backing down or redesigning it, so this is what we're ending up with. For the short term, I'll just not build as many machines as this thing can support. Partly because the power requirements are going to be over the, uh, over the top. But we can definitely scale up to that if we want to. Sounds like a bad idea. Those assemblers are fast. Yeah, they are really fast. I just didn't think, you know, considering they're the only things that can make those science packs, I didn't think just one of them without speed modules uh, would be that extreme. And we've run out again. I should probably empty my entire inventory to do this. That means turning this off. And steel chest. Careful not to remove everything. I don't want to re remove this stuff. Oh, is that a meteor? Kano, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Okay. Some more scaffolding down this way. This part of the build is kind of thin. By comparison. Uh, close enough. Right. Couple more trips. 
least. Before we get to the point of filling out the main bus, I'd like to place the blueprint and actually see where all the buildings go. We might actually have to request some more scaffolding. Tactical media incoming? That would be cruel. Actually, was it shut down? Yeah, it was shut down. Okay, cool. Okay. I'm too lazy to not fill in that gap right now. And we're about to run out, I think. Almost at 69 viewers, by the way. Nice, by the way. If I had done the whole design process without an audience, um, I definitely would have cut down the base that I ended up with a lot smaller. I think I will just fill out all of it for where the pipe bus is. In hindsight, um, I think I would probably put the pipe bus on the opposite side from the belt bus. And I would probably put the belts taking scrap and contaminated scrap back for central processing uh, on the opposite side as well. Not a big deal, though. Right, let's see how this fits. Almost there. This is how many telescopes it takes with speed modules in them to keep up with uh, Astronomical Science Pack 1 with no speed modules here. This, bearing in mind we can't have um, beacons in space just yet. Hey, Bagop. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Stratsman, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well as well. Anybody got an alter cap? <laughs> okay. 69 BTW. We did it. I think we're missing a little bit of scaffolding here. Yeah. Oh, there's a few gaps, and they're so much easier to see on the map than in person. Way down this way. Um, there's obviously a few more things to go, but that is basically it, except for the main bus. And pipes. I think we've already got pipes as far down as they need to go. Cool. Fill these out. And... I think the way to go filling out the main bus 
is going to be... We'll do six tiles down the middle where each bus is. And we'll add stuff to the side when we need to. Might want to remove it to get back some scaffolding. Yeah, definitely. Well, it might be easier just to send up more scaffolding. We'll see. It takes the bots a surprisingly long time to remove scaffolding. Meanwhile, we've got an automatic... It's actually only at 3.7k. I'm more than a little bit surprised by that. Um, I think it's because we're deliberately limiting how quickly the bots bring this stuff. Yeah, we are. I don't want to overdo it because we'll just end up... Um, We'll just end up having the bots halo around roboports, not to mention have a lot more of them crashing. But limiting each chest, the request size to 200 might be a bit more reasonable. Is there anything else we can research yet? Uh... Thermal radiating efficiency. Oh, we can use a more efficient recipe to cool this to negative 10. We just lose less fluid. That's not that exciting, to be honest. Um, especially for 500 of these. Thermal radiator 2 is a bit more interesting, although we don't have beryllium yet. Radio telescope. We need Astro 2 for that. Uh, rocket reusability, definitely. And uh, cargo safety. How many... Is this the last one? Oh, it's infinite. Wait, it's infinite? I thought there was a upper limit where you just don't lose any. Well, it only takes 16 of these. 32... Reduces the chance that cargo pods get damaged in transit by 10% multiplicatively. Hmm. We could definitely stand to get the next tier of catalogs, I guess. Bunk. Better life support? Why not? The limit is 20. Fantastic. Efficiency and slow. Sounds like you need some more roboports to me. It's not just the roboports, but until we get fancier science, um, the speed of my bots is really quite limited. Um, normally, by now in vanilla, I would have super speed robots. Okay, so down each bus we go, like so. How far did I go this time? Oh, that's enough. And I kind of need to... Before I do that, it's going to be easier if we do it like this. Oops. And then drop the blueprint again. That didn't take as long as expected, but that was fewer than... I've got more robots than that. There we go. 
Right, still got plenty of scaffolding. So the look we're going for is six tiles wide. And down we go. That's kind of noisy. I probably should have zoomed out. Land. Take off. Cardinal direction only. Oh, that's not helpful. And next in line is this one. Where are you from? Australia. Need some more scaffolding. Bio catalog isn't taking very long. I guess we've accumulated some science packs. Oh, look at astronomic catalog 2 go. And... I think we may be on the way to running out of scaffolding. We we'll probably have enough to finish the build. Why is this on 0%? Did we literally just consume the last bio... Oh, this needs 200. I misread that. Eh, it's fine. We'll just leave that running for a while. Put the end of each that way you can put in both directions? I think I see what you mean. So I don't have to run all the way back to figure out where it fits. Arr. There we go. Like this. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Up we go. Do you build Vita Melange extract in space or on planet? On planet. Although, considering so far there's just one machine that uses it, it's definitely tempting to do it in space. Um, but I would rather get the productivity bonus. Getting as much productivity bonus as is reasonably possible means it's a lot easier to supply everything from core mining. Oops. And down we go. Back for more scaffolding. Okay. Should probably filter the outputs for the scaffolding or something. Oh, there we go. Okay, who's next? You're pretty much done. OK, 
gonna lie, I'm a little bit excited about getting this base going. And once this one's operational, things are going to accelerate because we can do rail blocks in space, which is my preferred way to scale into the end game. Oops. Uh, robots go. No, nope, not over there. Alright. Malicious compliance go bots. And I need some more scaffolding. Back we go. Start with this one. Oh, didn't realize that was almost done already. Let's start from the bottom this time. I may have never designed it as a main bus base if I realized there was going to be this many um, items to bus in. But on the other hand, kind of need a cargo rocket silo for each of them anyway. Or at least when you don't know what sort of throughput you're going to need for each item, that's the assumption you should probably make. All right, let's pick up our wayward bot. And head back for even more scaffolding. We're gonna need a ton of belt as well, but that's not a problem. I should probably get started on sending it up though, because I'm not sure how much we've got stockpiled down here, probably like one chest full of each, which compared to what we're going to build is not that much. Just feed them into the rail base on the end of the line. Yes, I do intend to do that. Um, when we scale up from this into rail blocks, I'm going to have, to get started, a bunch of pickup stations down the bottom here. Uh, it really is... well, I guess you could use trash stops. I was going to say it's much more convenient to have flying robots deal with the... Uh, cargo rocket sections and cargo oh, I meant to say space capsule and then cargo rocket section and then my brain got confused all right back up we go I'm going with a hybrid at the moment mostly butts and belts for high throughput stuff like the telescopes yeah, well, there's there's a challenge to making it the first time that isn't there when you know that it's this big and complex, uh, especially. Um, there's a challenge to building it the first time that is not so much when you're experienced with it. Like, you know, it's very easy the first time you build, like, a vanilla base to paint yourself into a corner because you didn't leave enough room for red circuits or something like that. Um, and if you're going to avoid that sort of mistake, 
without knowledge of a rough idea of what the finished base is going to look like. The only way to avoid it is to overdo everything. Uh, scaffolding, I think we're actually just about run out. It, there we go. My first attempt was also a main bus and I gave up on it after reaching Astro 2. Yeah. The fact that Space Rail exists, um, I definitely decided that this base would have a definite end. And I mean, you can only expect it to follow the pattern of... Like, main bus base in vanilla is just sort of a prerequisite for getting into a rail base, as far as I'm concerned. As a beginner, the bus has been hard for me to work on. I keep starting over. Uh, how so? Did you not leave enough room for something? And yeah, like... When I built the main bus base that I have on Nalvis, for example, uh, my lack of familiarity with um, space exploration led me to regret having not having like two more lanes for I think it was concrete was one which I ended up sliding in here somewhere and the other was glass no we've got glass some resource that I ended up wishing that I'd left room for Unless you only build items, or, unless you only build manufacturing on one side of the main bus, uh, you're gonna have to like make a guess as to how much space you're gonna end up using. And we're actually down to the last one. I have a bus space in orbit with branches for the sciences. Works for me. Fair enough. Uh, okay. And then we need to place the blueprint yet again. Let's go over here somewhere where we can easily see if it's lined up correctly. There we go. And we can see where we need to... Um connect those up as well. Cool. Alright, I think I feel like taking a little break from building this base, to be honest. Let's put our scaffolding over here. And if there isn't anything pressing that needs to be done on Nalvis, I think I would like to grab a new resource from a new planet. Uh, let's grab some more biomass before I go. Since that's what we need for spiders. And... I think I can take all of that, actually. Space capsule. Still quite a lot of scaffolding here. That's good. Send pipes and belts into orbit. Yes, I'll definitely be doing that. Uh, actually, that's the first thing I do when I land. Right, I think that'll be enough spidertrons for a while. Let's head back. And... Apparently we landed... Where... I left this long arm inserter last time. That works, I guess.
Okay. Which rocket are we going to use? Um, I don't suppose one of them is left empty. I should probably start doing that. This one is very much not left empty. Why is it still being... What? What? Why did I just now arrive to witness this being filled with rocket fuel? That's a little strange. Uh, let's see. That one's automatic. That's automatic. That's not... This one's actually empty. Oh yeah, we were using it for science. Alright, that works. Um... Uh, Harrington, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Pipes and belts, and I don't think we need that many space assembly machines right now. We actually have hardly any in that build. Uh, what else do we need to make sure we send up there? I'll probably just wait to see how much extra space is left in here and add more belt. Yeah, definitely. And what planet and what resource have we not visited yet? Uh, Holmanite is on this gigantic planet here. I would have to get rid of all the biters or make some defensive walls. I'm not, not the biggest fan of that. Uh, Rose is relatively small. We could remove all the biters from it. It would be a bit of a pain. Uh, biter medias. We'd obviously need to set up the cannons properly. Waterless. Crude oil, that's not very interesting. Mariel gives us infinite vulcanite. There's no biters, there's no water. And there's barrel. I'll make that a priority at some point, but what I really want right now is a uh, holmanite or one of those other... Yeah, there we go. Threat 0% holmanite, so far so good. 37% solar, not so good. It's quite small. Um, mild, exotic, humid, thicket, lakes, hilly. And... Let's see. I wanted to update that uh, blueprint that I made. The one that we used on Hagen. Instead of this, I want to have uh, the resources that we need to make planetary anti-media defenses. Or I want to set it up to have nuclear power. Except, wasn't this planet waterless? Um, was it Rampart? No. Which planet were we looking at just now? It was the Holmanite planet. Uh, Fornat? No. Taser. Taser. Okay. No threat. No biter medias or anything. Was it waterless? It is not waterless. So we could just do regular nuclear power. Uh, why don't we give it a scan? So, it's going to be tricky planning it around 
uh, having to have offshore pumps. But I think we could probably do a build whereby uh, we have nuclear power under the umbrella of uh, just point defenses. And if we can do that, it's going to be a bit simpler. We could make the build smaller. Minimal core mining. And nuclear things. I think I'll just grab some. It doesn't have a landing pad assigned. The one to Hagen. Didn't have a main bus, just a construction hub. Construction hub into a rail block. Now the space. Okay. Put a bus base in orbit with branches. Oh, wait. I read that already. Sorry, what was I doing? Nuclear power. Um, I think I put all of that over here. And... These two. Why are there so few? Because there's more in the robo network. And we didn't set this request. Uh, in any case, I don't really need more for the design part right now. So let's... I should grab some of these so I can see the range better. Where be the point defenses? In here. Okay. Now, how much nuclear power would it take to run this stuff? Probably not 4 by 2 Uh, let's see the range of these. That's pretty good. If we do, like, 2 by 2 I need to look up the chart for what this supports. I don't remember where to find it. Factorio nuclear reactor ratio. 2 by 2 is 480 megawatts. I wish I'd bookmarked the uh, page. So if it's 480 megawatts, where are my steam engines? Eighty over five point eight is eighty two. That's more than I was expecting. I guess I shouldn't be that surprised considering this is a hundred and ninety two. Um, how much power is this in total? Fifty megawatts plus. Uh. Call it a hundred as if this is always charging. Hundred and twelve. And we need some slack for the rest of this as well. Call it like a hundred and fifty. So I'm guessing two of these is probably enough, although it'll be less efficient. Um even if we have not that many turbines, wouldn't it be better to have four of these? If we're gonna have nuclear reactors, it's probably best to deal with the input output with logistic bots. So 
So that adds a Robopot to the mix. And the ratio of this will remain to be, uh, what was it, 7 to 12? Yeah, 7 to 12. Maybe like this. How did I do it? I think it goes this way. And like so. Hey, Mobile. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. As long as you circuit the control them, it's technically more efficient to have more. Yeah. Nuclear fuel is so cheap, though, that I'm not sure it's worth the extra cost of the reactors. Well, the cost of the reactors is pretty trivial, really. Um, okay. Really, the way you cost things... Especially when you have core mining and infinite resources, the way you cost things is in terms of time and effort. Storage chests for steam? Yeah, I think I will. Uh, the Russian... Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the follow. Uh, we just need... Unfortunately, we need um, storage... Well, I, I think just one storage tank might be enough. At least for each set. Nah, I think this is fine. Where does the substation fit into this? How did I do it in this build? Oh, that's right. I think I had a gap with some accumulators. If that makes sense. We don't have to have the accumulators, but yeah, that's a good fit. Uh, these can probably go this way. Is this all still well and truly under the umbrella? Yeah. So we could probably move all of this over like here. And some heat pipe. Mirror, mirror. And some chests. Uh, fuel. Wait, what? Uranium fuel cell. Looks like that's just a bit out of range of our Robopot. I think I'm going to have to move this whole thing a bit closer. In fact, we can put it here. Okay. Pipes are connected, that's good. Um, and then we just need to make sure we put it pretty close to some water. Wait, I feel like something's missing. No, that should be fine. So, 
we're doing half of these and half of these. That's probably not going to work out to exactly the right ratio. But let's see. 48 times 5.8 megawatts. 278. And you said this can do 280? 480. Whoops. Well, does it matter if that's still going to be considerably more than this whole thing needs to run? Um, we're looking at like 150 megawatts to be super safe, right? So I'm thinking this is probably okay. And then... Uh... Substations over here. May as well throw in some accumulators. Couple of solar panels to make sure that in the worst case scenario things are at least moving a little bit. Actually, unless we put the uh, the drill and especially the media defenses and such on a power switch. I don't think that's going to help anything. Hmm. They're going to stay at zero unless we get past a critical mass to charge them simultaneously. Well, I don't think the point defenses of all things should be on a power switch anyway. Possibly the core miner, though. This should be overkill to keep this thing powered anyway. Um, but yeah, we would need more solar to make any impact whatsoever. Um, let's actually get more of this stuff to build with. And I'll request some nuclear things. Where am I going? Up here? Ryanite's looking a bit quiet. I hope the... I hope Hagen's doing okay. That's weird. This thing is full and ready to fire. Oh, it's charging. Okay, fair enough. Maybe I should set this up to... To have more than one delivery cannon. As much as this is more than enough for our needs for the moment. I mean, this this is fine for, like, literally the goal was a minimalist build. Why are you going nuclear instead of solar for this? This won't work on waterless planets. That's correct. Uh, the planet that we're going to next is not waterless. Uh, but there's a couple of things that I have to choose between. Um, well, I don't necessarily have to choose as far as nuclear power goes, but the point is supplying the resources to make point defense ammo is really quite easy. It's steel and coal, which can both be sent by a delivery cannon. However, if we if we have giant solar fields and the planet that we're going to next uh, is almost as bad as Hagen for solar power, 37%. Um, 
if we're going to have giant solar fields, what we should have, but we don't have on Hagen, because I didn't think that far ahead, is uh, instead of point defenses, uh, planetary media defense installations. But the trouble with those is to build the ammo, we need electronic circuits, steel, and batteries. We can send steel directly with cannons. We can send electronics, uh, the, the components for electronic circuits with cannons. But that's pretty easy. Batteries, though, we need to send sulfuric acid. Um, to do that, we either need to send barrels of sulfuric acid via cannon, in which case we need to deal with the uh, barrels themselves, we can break those down into steel. I guess the fact that the defense installation ammo needs steel. Uh, 10 steel per shot. We could probably... I don't know what the ratio is going to end up at, but like maybe we could turn all the barrels into steel and put that into ammo, and that won't eventually back up, or maybe it will. Um, otherwise we need to set up infrastructure on the planet to make sulfuric acid. So then we're sending iron and copper, and we need some, uh, at least one pump jack, an oil refinery, and s some chemical plants. Um, yeah. Uh, this is, if we're going to use, uh, point defenses... Nuclear is a bit simpler to keep it safe. Can't you send finished ammo? Unfortunately, not by cannon. We could send it via cargo rocket, but that has its own problems. Um, when I tried to build the smallest possible build to do core mining and send back delivery cannons, um, basically... If you only have one, um, what is it? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Landing pad. If you only have one landing pad, um, the logic to control what you send and when, uh, is kind of complicated. You could use three landing pads, I suppose. They're expensive up front, but they don't use power or anything. Um... But because of reusability, you will end up with cargo rocket parts just accumulating. Um, not to mention the uh, space capsules themselves. Um, not exactly the most low maintenance build. Uh, Helm Grandmaster, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Storage chests for steam? Uh, we can do storage tanks for steam. I see that makes sense. How are you going to send the uranium fuel? Uh, uranium we can send as iron plate plus... Uh, it's actually three things. Iron plate, U-235, and U uh, U-238. Um, which is a bit of a nuisance. If we're going to use the same delivery cannon chest, we'll have to... I don't think there's a reason to use the same delivery cannon chest, actually. Nothing here uses iron plate. So we'll probably have another one here, except we'll have to connect these together. And iron plate, uranium, and uranium. We're going to need a centrifuge. Could have got that as well. Centrifuge. A 
and you shoot the stuff for the capsules as well. That's a lot of cannons for each planet, yeah. I mean, pick your poison in terms of complexity and stuff, but the good thing about the cannon builds is they don't leave any excess uh, resources at the destination point. Uh, so that's going to be nuclear fuel reprocessing. Spent. Waste. What is it called? Oh, there it is. Used up. Uranium fuel cell. Okay. That can go straight back in here. Uh, things will be set up so that if there are any copper plate, for example, in these chests, or any U-238, etc., the cannon won't send anymore. And I think... Okay, I really need to start carrying... assembly machines again. I'm too used to having them by default. Rather pleased with that little build. Uh, I don't think I need any more heat pipe, thank you. Uh, that's fine. I wish you could do one-shot uh, requests for items. With the logistics requests. Okay. Assembly machine... Oh, that's unfortunate. No, the symmetry. Hmm. Where should we put it? I'm gonna just move this for a sec. And this is gonna be uranium fuel cell. Two types of uranium plus iron plate. And I don't suppose there's a way to line this up well. I guess we could just do it like this. I'm sure one stack is enough. Okay, and last but not least, wait, did I set these correctly? Uh, steam, less than a thousand. just need to connect this to one of the steam, uh, the storage tanks. Probably better to do the one that's closest, actually, to the reactors. And that should probably just about cover it, I think. Apart from having to pipe in the water. Uh, so as long as we can find water within range of the media defenses, um, that should be fun. Uh, sorry, Kairu. Thank you for the host. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There's a mod for that. Uh, what's the mod for? This design is more efficient, but visually it looks like 
the definition of overkill. I'm sure there's more uh, steam turbines than we need here, but I'm okay with that. It's not really the cost in metal, it's how much stuff can we easily take with us when we go to the planet. Um, do, since we've got the excess power and everything, do I want to... How would I go about it? It's going to be a bit of a pain. I could swap this around. Okay, first I'm going to blueprint this, because I'm pretty sure... At least as part of being on the way to what I want to build, this is pretty good. Uh, cannon. Animal. Uh, small core mine. And we'll save that. SpaceX that goes here. Now, if we swap these, and put this down here. Like so. And... This goes here. That side, that side. That's looking good. Uh, green wire needs to reach all the way over here. Hmm. I could move this down a bit closer, I guess. Just barely. Uh, Maple, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I would limit the inserters stack size to one. Uh, which inserters? Oh, for the nuclear? Yeah, that's a good point. They may end up putting five in anyway before the condition is met. But that's okay. The mod quick item search has a feature for one-time request. Nice. Definitely making a note of that. Quick item search. Alright. And this has to be receiving that that we're looking for, whichever type of core fragment it is. I think we'll... Oh, I need to set this recipe. Did they take away my centrifuges? They did. What are they ever running off with? And why do I have two heavy girders? Oh, and I haven't really played with the railgun yet, have I? Should probably do that. I've got tons of ammo now, right? Uh, okay, before I forget, I'm going to set the recipe on that and update the blueprint. Oh, it is set already. Fantastic. May as well productivity module it. And... That should be that. Alright. 
blueprint. Select new contents. And yeah, that should be an improvement. Let's give it a go, shall we? Right after I go on a little hunt. Shields. Uh, I won't worry too much about power just yet. I think I played a little bit with the railgun before. Just didn't have that much ammo, so... Oh wow. I forgot how powerful it was already. And I forgot to bring lasers, but I don't think I even need lasers. I can just snipe the spawners, let them counterattack the base. Fly around. Damn, that is effective. <laughs> wow. I think we're upsetting them enough to make them attack the UPS. Welp. I should probably get rid of these. No, I think I'll make sure I'm requesting enough nuclear stuff to build. Uh, this building here. We need 68 heat pie plus the one stack of heat exchangers, five stacks of steam turbines. Um, where is it? And four nuclear reactors. Biters are attacking the wall, no problem. Biters are attacking the UPS, danger. Yes, indeed. Oh, hey, Osoro. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Don't think we need 50 centrifuges, but it fits in one slot anyway. Um... Ooh, let's bring a... I was going to say let's bring a Spidertron, but... I haven't set up the logistics for everything yet, and that's kind of a pain. Alright. I think we're just about ready. Why do I keep getting two heavy gutter brought back to me? Heavy... Got her, because I'm requesting 50. We got some more spiders. Another five. Fantastic. Alright. I think... Once the biters settle down... EPS should go back up to 50-something. Uh, I'm not going to make the same mistake I did before where I forgot to, I forgot to actually set up the cannons before going to the new planet. Hey, Creakly, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I think I should probably add some nuclear ones to this. The only question is where do I fit the input station? Probably here. Let's just move this for now. Where are my bots? Oh, I got rid of them. Or the robo-pots anyway.
All right, instead of waiting for that to charge. How many did I do? Five of each. Except we need... It's not going to reach if I do it this way. Probably should have just left that belt where it was. Wait, how am I carrying 50 delivery cannon capsules? Probably because they were... no? Whoops. Get out of my inventory, please. There we go. I think I'll just do the uranium cannons on this side. That's further away than I was planning, but that's okay. We also need to do iron plate. Yeah, that's a bit of a nuisance. Um, I should have done a small self-contained one of these for each planet. Oh well. We could probably do a small station for delivery of iron. Wait, do we have a small iron pickup somewhere? Don't know that we do. Hmm. Okay. Just have to do what we can. Bring some construction spiders over. Why not just send capsules? Uh, unfortunately, you can't send capsules. You have to send the resources for each... Uh, yeah, you can't put capsules in capsules, if that makes sense. Where are my scooters? Way over there. Why am I not... My RoboPort's not on, that's why. That's gonna overlap. Inception? Yes, indeed. Goes here. Uh, I don't think we really need a train to be able to go both ways for this one. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. That goes here, and this one. Let's figure out where this fits first. Three, four, five, six. This one goes here, I think. Yeah, that's right. Looks a bit, little bit weird side on, but that's correct. Okay. I'm gonna do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just put six of them here. And this will be enough for uh, three planets. No, two planets. Can I not fit more of these? That'll do. Uranium. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's bring the belt down a little bit. Oops, that's okay. So this will be enough to support three of those planets with um, uh, running off nuclear power. Right. So we just need to do a standard iron plate drop off over here. I think I have a template for that actually. Iron plate drop off. It's probably the way I do things is been updated since I built this. I'm not going to bother with the lights or this or medium poles. Hey, it's the. I thought I updated these. This is the old way that I did the averaging. Alright, everything less than or equal to zero. For the balanced unloaders. And one belt will be more than enough. And then similar thing for our two types of uranium, except well, let's set this up first, actually. LTN standard drop off. And we're asking for iron plate. And this is how much we have. Substations go here. And iron is on its way. Next is uranium. And I think I'll just share a belt the uranium. Two thirty eight. Hey, Ragamuffin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see. Green wire goes here. Read belt contents hold, read hand contents hold, enable disable, P35 is equal to zero. P38 is equal to zero. And then we just need to make sure these are connected. And we also need to let LTN know what we've got here. Okay, that's really hard to see what's connected to what. Can we just... There we go. Triple Exposer, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This goes here. Except we're asking for one train load of 235. 
and one train load of T-38. And let's turn that off until we're ready. Not that I connected it yet. 235, 238, Quester. Is this connected? Yep, we've got our iron plate. Okay, let's drop in another uh, signal receiver. This one's going to be Taser. Uh, delivery cannon chest. And... Uh, we're gonna need long arms over here. I'll put them facing the wrong way for the moment. Until we set these conditions correctly. Oh, we need, don't need to con connect all of those yet, actually. Uh, this is going to be... Iron plate has to be greater than zero. Or well, we, we could do the same condition, but on the iron plate instead, or both of them. But that'll be good enough for that. Uh, I guess I have to merge these after the way I put them together. And over here. Just start Mando 69. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's go this way. Actually, you know what I could do? Just like that. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we're going to do the same thing. What? I guess that's fine for now. With a couple of these. That doesn't quite reach. U-235 greater than zero. U-238 greater than zero. Where's our... Need some power over here as well. Oh, that actually just reaches for all of them. Just start. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Now, is there a reason we're not yet getting uranium? Probably that is it. Should be sending a train here pretty soon. There we go. And let's just check on our uranium build. That's looking pretty good. 96k and 47k. Except I don't see anything else coming in here. Apparently we have no uranium. Um, there should be uranium core fragments coming from the other planet. What's happening with those? I see nothing. some reason... Oh. Um, let's rotate those, shall we? Even so, there should be more of them. That'll get us some uranium in any case. Uh, Tolibai is our uranium planet. 
And it just sent back some more core fragments. Okay then. Um, I guess there's just not enough for a train load yet. There's 58,000. Is this wired wrong? That looks weird. No, I think that's right. Uh, so here we have 58,000 uranium core fragments. And I thought I had it set up so that... Oh, these are just the ones that were sent to the old base. Okay, so I haven't actually set up... I think I haven't actually set up a system in rail. Um, like I did with cryonite core fragments over here. Core fragment cryonite. Um, I don't think I set up something like this, but for uranium core fragments yet. So we'd better do that relatively soon. But I think we can run off the stockpile of uh, uranium that we've got for now. You could probably just copy that cryonite block and change the recipe. Yeah, I was thinking that as well. Um, because the uh, core fragment pulverizer recipe cryonite was pretty much the same as this, right? Except instead of uranium, we get cryonite. Five core fragment, two uranium ore, and one stone versus uh, five, ten, and one. So yes, we absolutely could copy-paste this, although we wouldn't need anywhere near as much belt to get the, uh, the uranium part done. Um, but I'm a little bit eager to actually get started on this new planet. So... That's all looking good. Just have to actually set the targets. And this one is set to Taser DC. I'll, I'll keep the name convention consistent. DC chest. And then... I guess I forgot to bring my Spidertron, so I'll ride this one back. Okay. So all I need to do is... Uh, we're not going to need anywhere near as many solar panels as this is requesting. In fact, we probably don't need any, but I'll still take a few. Like... I don't know. How many of these can I fit under the umbrella here? At least like six of them. Might be a good idea. So that is 48. Well, we'll send a bit more just to be sure, especially considering it can be lost. Let's call it a hundred, and what was the ratio here? 
one to six. The rest should be fine. Uh, it didn't turn out very well sending solid rocket fuel to try and refuel the, um, uh, rocket to come home. So we'll just set up some, uh, pump jacks and stuff on planet. Oh, I've already got them. Good. And probably going to need some more pipe. I'd rather put that in the cargo rocket. Uh, I'm going to need another combinator, I think. I'm not going to need 500 substations. In fact, I can just remove that. That should be suitable. Just need to wait for the bots to catch up, filling and emptying this. I don't think I need the single uh it's fine. All right, let's have a look at our target. Looks like we're getting close to scanning the whole thing. There's water pretty much everywhere. I don't think we're going to have trouble finding a nice spot. I'm reasonably sure we've got everything we need. Noxyway Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, a few more accumulators would be fine, but I'm already carrying enough to build this. I should also take some offshore pumps. In fact, did we automate that? There's 20 on the way. I'm surprised. That's one of the things that I usually never get around to automating. Because they're so quick to handcraft. And... Uh, you don't build them very often. Can I see your mod? Mod S E U P S? Mod S E U P S. I don't understand. Mod S E U P S? Or. Wait, what? What is it 2.0? I don't understand. The time usage. Uh, I think I can bring that up with F5. Is this what you're looking for? Data point in the debug menu. Yep, there you go. Point four.
Okie dokie. Um, are we just about finished loading this? It looks like we are. We just have to empty the excess accumulators since we're not building a massive solar array this time. I see, thanks, no worries. I think next time I might do a build that does use uh, cargo rockets. Or at least cargo rockets one way. It's going to take quite a long time to fill a cargo rocket with one core mining drill. Oh, and I should definitely remove that. Even just sitting idle, it's... Um, uh, slowing down the other core miners. Not that we have any issues with resources at this stage. No path? Where do you think you're trying to go? Trash pickup. Oh... But there's nothing there. Uh, train limit zero. There you go. Benny B, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Enjoy it, uh, near traps. Much appreciated, thank you. How long is it going to take to empty this? We need bigger stack size. Oh, we could actually... It's going to take a while, but we can queue this one up now. Another plus two. Eight to ten is a pretty significant difference. And Fatboy Not So Slim, thank you very much for the sub. Three months. Nice, thank you. Good reminder to resub, I suppose it is. Um, I might just put off this rather long life support to and see how long this is going to take. Oh, wow, it's at 5% already. It's not going to get all the way through, I don't think. Uh, I could be wrong, but I doubt we've got that much material science accumulated in the sushi science. Okay. 40%. If this gets done quick enough to be relevant to this task right here, I'm going to be very pleased. It's going. I think we need to come up with a slightly better system to put science into this into these labs but that's okay it's kind of hard to tell how far it's gonna get but considering it's at 92 percent i don't think it's gonna stop while we're on this type of research Become 10. Fantastic. It doesn't actually refresh that while you've got that open. Oh, stack size of 10 is obviously effectively way closer to the maximum than 8. Um, probably pushes it over the line to have the same number of inserters to saturate a belt. 
Scam likely. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I have more room. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What did I take? Oh, no. What just happened? No. Oh, no. Uh... I guess the bots will sort it out. Uh, that was silly. Wait, there's no logistic requests here. I was just doing the inserters first, that's why. Well, that happened. Shouldn't take much longer now. I wonder if there's anything else that would be useful that would get done surprisingly quickly. It looks like most of it's bioscience now, though. This only requires 10. Astronomical simulation. Matter distribution simulation. Well, I guess we'll queue it for later anyway. Wait, did that require... No. We can do this one. And this one. Not this one yet. We can also do this. And this. That should keep it busy for a while. Bioscience is a pain? Yes, it very much is. Uh, especially because you need... It's not like a regular chain where you can get one thing working at a time until the whole thing is working. Uh, you need the entire loop to be functional before it'll work. And then you need enough... Uh, what is it? Biosludge? to get that loop started, although probably you've got enough from material science by the time you're doing that. We can make experimental biomass. First we need experimental bioculture, and the only thing I don't recognize here is experimental genetic data. which requires biochemical data and genetic data. And I've seen those before. You can also make biosludge directly from Vitima lunch. I didn't know that. You can also make it from fish or wood if you need to. Vitalic acid, nugget, and cosmic water. Nice. And from biomass, for some reason. At this stage, I have no idea why you would want to do that. Plenty of ways to kickstart the process. It also makes contaminated scrap. Are we done? Looks like we are done. Okay, what... Will I forget to take with me to the new planet? Taser. Let's double check that it is indeed Taser. It would be a little bit tragic to accidentally go to the wrong planet. But I don't think that's going to happen. Um... I think we're good. Nuclear power, well, especially comparing it to something that's out in the towards the edge of the solar system, 37% solar. Um, nuclear power sure takes a lot less inventory space to produce the same power. t Hex, how's after jab recovery? Complete. Thank you for asking. It was pretty tough for a few days, but uh, it's well and truly behind me now. 
Wait, what? Oh, we haven't loaded this yet. Well, that would have been embarrassing if I launched before that happened. Shouldn't be too much longer. Hmm. I wonder if I could set up some kind of display. That would be incredibly complicated. To read, like, what we're trying to put into the cargo rocket and tell us how full it is. I would need a database of the stack sizes of every item in the game. Or I could just treat every item as equal. I guess. That might be more feasible. As soon as this uh, requester chest has no requests left, we know this is fully loaded. What am I going to forget this time? Everything. Yes, indeed. Morpheus out. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can read out the amount of empty slots from the rocket. Oh yeah, definitely. But if I don't set it up to be completely full, which I'm not doing this time, um, then it's a bit different. The layout of this is a bit unusual, but that's okay. It looks like we're almost done. I don't actually need to get these delivered if I'm carrying them myself, but I'm not going to go to the trouble of preventing it for now. Um, I don't think it's going to take long enough that I should duck out and... Well, what I could do is send my construction spiders over here, and we'll get started on core fragment processing for the uranium core fragments. May as well build this one as well. We'll just have to turn off the constant combinators before a train is brought over this way. Are we done? Nope. Oh, it's doing that thing now. Okay. Spiders are still not there, actually. Where are my military spiders? Let's play with them. See how much I can destroy before they have to come back if I'm careful. Considering the lasers didn't activate just there. Probably quite a lot. Nope. They already took actual damage. Rip. Maybe I should put more shields on the one at the front. Bait the counterattack. Wall uh, cliffs are very helpful. Let's 
It's kind of hard to get any laser value when they're so keen with the rockets. And they should be able to roll through these easily enough. Send them back home after that. Okay, are we done? Looks like we're done. Uh, Taser, general facility. F facility? Vicinity. And away we go. Maybe I should take a construction spider every time I go to a planet. Seems like a good idea, actually. And we are here. Uh, Robopod off. Do not bring me a million items right now, please. Is this... is this water? What is that? That's water. How did you unlock the spider bot? Doesn't that thing need bioscience? Yes, it does. Uh, here is our bioscience. It's a little bit cramped and difficult to follow, as if bioscience isn't hard to follow anyway. Um, it's obviously quite slow, just running off of the sushi belt. But it gets the job done for stuff that isn't super high volume. I ended up just sending spiders and basically doing all work remotely. That works. All right, let's see where we're going to fit this. Nice and close to the water seems like a good idea. And also nice and close to all of this stuff seems a great idea. Uh, Latlasi, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did I request the offshore pumps? I did. Unfortunate that that doesn't quite... Maybe I'll move all of this over a couple of tiles. Uh, how close can I put these together? I think they have to be separated by one. Yeah. Wait. I never checked how much water these consume, but I think each group of seven needs one pipe. 721. A single pipe is actually enough for... No, I think it normally caps at 1200, so yeah. One offshore pump for each of these is probably a good idea. Let's move that over one more tile, and this goes up here. That's kind of hard to look at. All right, Roboport. I guess Roboport, and let's put down some solar power. If only to get started. Don't tell me. No, it's in here. I definitely have the point defenses. What? Yeah, that's well and truly in range. Good. Uh, go 
get some flat solar panels. Flat solar panels. Should be more than enough to run the uh, RoboPort. Oh, it's night time almost. These aren't charging yet. Is the RoboPort charging? Yeah, it was at least. I'll let the bots finish what they're doing. And then most of you can stay here. Let's put some storage over this way. Probably didn't need to throw all of my bots into that. Uh, I think we need to be placing some... Oh, it's night time anyway. That's a little bit bad timing. How long is the day-night cycle here? 6.84 minutes. I think that's slightly... Slightly shorter than Nalvis. So, pretty much what we're used to. We just get a lot less, uh... What? Oh, they're all coming back to me because the uh, RoboPorts died. Huh. Okay, then. Didn't realize that would be a thing. Let's grab all the solder. And make the most of it. See if we can get it set up before morning. Funny you went for bioscience before energy. Um, I think energy was one of the ones that was surprised me at how easy it was, actually. Or was it... Uh, I forget which. In any case, I think it's this planet. Uh, the Holmanite is something that we need for energy, which I didn't have yet, or don't have yet. Uh, can we fit this over here? E yes. Would it be theoretically possible for a media to land outside there and damage this? I think we'll just do it this way. I guess leaving this solar here will lower the impact of uh, the cost of nuclear fuel to keep this running anyway. Even if not by a whole lot. I would have thought I'd have more accumulators here. I thought I brought more accumulators than were necessary, but I guess not. Oh, I think I just brought the accumulators to fill this out, now that I think about it. Hmm. Uh, nope, they're all in my 
crash slots. That that would explain that. Let's get them placed while the sun's still up. Right, are we getting the RoboPorts charged? Yes, good. Drop 50 of these. Uh, they are looking pensive. I guess the RoboPort hasn't hit critical mass yet. Wait, they're following me again. Somehow activating the jetpack uh, triggered them to look to me as a robopod again. Maybe I could just remove these for now. And the robopods should charge quite a bit faster. Yeah, that's looking better. Were these not marked for deconstruction? They are. So, how long till the bots here do something? Well, I was going to say while I'm waiting, I could set up Uh, set up the cannons, but as long as I leave this switched off, that's okay. What's the name of the planet again? Whoops. Taser. Location here. And that's this one, and this one, taser, here, and last but not least, uh, taser, here. And then we need these four things. Six things. I forgot to set up the coal and steel. That's a slight nuisance. Logistic bots? Um, I already put them in the network. Why are we still... It's night... It The sun's going down now, and we never got to the point where the... Oh, those are logistic. You're kidding. They all jumped back into my RoboPort. I should just remove my RoboPorts for now. That'll keep them doing what they should be doing. Alright, let's focus on these pipes. Um, this goes here. We're not going to reach through that. I don't think there's a particularly good dis uh, spot to squeeze through all that, so let's just go around. And pipe, and pipe, and pipe. A couple more of these. Can't put both of those there. Unfortunate. Oh, 
Okay. Hmm. Sun's coming up now. Robot ports. Uh, they will charge very slowly. I think next time I would bring more solar just to kickstart things. Uh, let's turn on my RoboPots again. That's as good as it's going to get for now. I guess I'll have to... Oh, wow. Uh... I don't suppose I could persuade you to not eat all of our energy for a minute. That's looking a bit better. Yeah, much better. You know, considering how much power that uses, um, and we're trying to do like a minimal build, I'm thinking I should probably have that switched off most of the time, and it could probably pulse a signal, like once, a, once every 30 seconds or a minute or something. Eh, I can't really be that worried about it. Did the bots finish picking all this up? Oh, they did. Fantastic. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Tidy it up a bit. Uh, we're going to need some power for... Water. I don't really want that scrap, thank you very much. I uh, should put these back, I guess. Oh, they're actually charging. Fantastic. I should have brought some nuclear fuel. That would have really helped. Uh, cargo rocket silo. Over here, please. And... We need to unpack those, actually. Unpack. Can't stack those, can we? We can. What else? We need to turn rocket fuel into liquid. And we also need to find the space capsule. What? 
Oh, there it is. Right where I left it. Cannot reach. Okay. Uh, that just leaves the cargo rocket sections. And then the fuel. Where are we going to get oil? Uh, probably should have checked that there is oil on the planet. Uh, I would be surprised if this planet's without it, but still. Liquid rocket fuel. And uh, solid rocket fuel. And we also need um, this. Wait, what? What am I doing? Okay. That doesn't actually need fluid into it. Uh, I hope I brought enough pipe. Nearest crude is over there. I probably should have built this whole thing like down here. Worst case, I can always move it around. How many pipes do I actually have here? Uh, 161. Got a few hundred. It should be enough. Okay. Pump checks I've got on me. And here we are. Pick an arbitrary midpoint. Unfortunately, that doesn't line up so conveniently. This is probably overkill. It's fine. Where's our base? There it is. And we need a... That was surprising considering we have no fuel. Uh, a regular old refinery. Wait, where's the range of this? Let's put it in here. And some cracking. Heavy oil to light. That's unfortunate. Guess we could do it like that. And 
then that would have to go like so. Let's just grab a bit of water from here. And then we need to run, like, all the way over here. I guess we could mostly follow the big power poles. So corners are a bit of a nuisance. Found it. And obviously we need to fill these in. And away we go. Gonna need some more undergrounds. Uh, I think we should give life support equipment to a break and oh my goodness that's fast. And then Biomechanical is slow because we're bottlenecking on bioscience. Did I? Nope, I could. Oh, I ran out of jetpack fuel. Uh, that's a shame. A walk of shame. Oh, oh, yeah, I know. I think it's because I accidentally put all of my rocket fuel into liquid rocket fuel. Boy, a Spidertron would be handy right about now. Maybe I could make a car. I could make a car. Do I have any fuel, though? I do not. Uh, I guess I could get... destroy some of those rocks and get some fuel. <laughs> There's some coal on the way back, worst case scenario. This has just got rock. This one has coal. Salvation is at hand. Rescue me. Just need to make a few more multi-cylinder engines. What's more factorio than handcrafting a car so you don't have to walk another hundred meters? Fantastic. It's been ages since I drove a car in Factorio. Uh, 
Okay. Um, we need solid fuel as well. I guess there's no reason to bother with prod modules here. I think I said that last time. Oh well. Wait, what? This is... Okay. That should be fine. More Factorio, cutting and pasting your entire base to move it all over one tile. Good point. You know what, I really shouldn't be bothering with the prods here. This stuff's infinite, and... Well, I guess we could put prods near the end of the chain. That might make sense. And why are we stuck on... Because this doesn't actually get where it needs to go. Um... There we go. Actually, if you don't mind, I would like to grab some solid fuel, uh, solid rocket fuel first. Oh, that's quite fast. Let's prod that one. And don't forget the minor detail of putting it into here. Give me that fuel. Ah, that's better. Uh, I don't think I brought any fast, uh, any express belts, so we're going to use reds. I don't think that's going to be a problem, considering the max rate. It's actually 10.39. This says 6.9 per second, but I guess that's without the productivity. 10.39 four fragments per second from just one machine is quite a lot, really. So, Holmanite. Holmanite. And... Where are we sending it to? Now this... Uh, which of these are unoccupied? A few of them. Let's go for this one. And... I think that's that. This needs to be set to taser... Taser... Well, no, not this one. This is taser DC chest. Let's make sure I spelt it the same on the other end. It's with an S, is it? Z. Which one's correct? This one's Z. Okay. It's a DC chest. Taser DC chest. Okay, cool. Um, still just running off solar power. That's right, I need to get this stuff to send. I don't suppose I have the uh, construct. Wait, how do I get. How do I set these to... Can I not... 
there has to be a way, right, to to remote control the Spidertrons from another planet with the navigation satellite. We can make Spidertron remotes at will that are going to disappear when I go away, but I can't seem to... Do I need to go and find the Spidertron? Is that the leader? Yeah, okay. I guess that'll have to do. Apparently they're missing some explosives. I wonder if I didn't set the requests for it. Looks like I didn't. Okay. Cliff explosives. 20. Was it this one? Yes. It's so hard to separate them so I can see which is which. Alright, what was I trying to do? That's right, I want to set the conditions here so that we can... Uh, pretend the transmitter is working for a moment. Here they come. And there they go. Iron. Uranium. Uranium. On. On. And. On. Are the other ones going to fire? Oh, I guess they're loading. As soon as they've all fired one more time, I'll turn this off. There we go. And there's our nuclear fuel ever so slowly getting built. You can do it, I believe. We're at 91% for this uh, new simulation. Makes biological and material. Oh, that's the ingredients. Interesting. Well, that just makes optimizing space science way more complicated. I guess it's probably not going to be nearly as bad with a rail block system. Ninety percent, ninety-five, and there's our first nuclear fuel. And there's our first heat. And uh, it has to get to five hundred degrees before we see anything happen at the next step. But that will indeed be a step that's going to happen. Fantastic. I guess I'll send the scrap back with the rocket. Anything else? Why are there nearly 40 flat solar panels here? I thought some of these didn't get built. Well, it's fine. We got there eventually. Remove this for now.
And I guess we can put this back where it belongs. Which means we can get rid of this entirely. Actually, maybe I'll leave it there. It, it'll be switched off. No, it'll be on a separate wire. That, that can just go. Okay. I need to set up coal and steel. Um, probably do it on the right side of this rail block. It definitely could be more space efficient, but we did end up needing more space than I actually expected for this whole thing. Maybe we actually should uh, put delivery cutting capsules in the rail system. Then it would just be a matter of bringing the resources. I wonder what the best, most efficient layout would be. I could probably spend hours on it, to be honest. If I really got obsessive about it. How's our fuel doing? Uh, not great just yet. It's going to take a little while. Just, uh... Wait, that's 32.11k. That's probably only getting us into orbit. Yeah. Now this... Wait, what? Now this... Uh, now this landing pad. That is 84.32 liquid rocket fuel. Might be good to put some beacons down here, actually. What are we bottlenecking on? Not the refinery. Oh, we're stuck on... Oh, that's probably why. That should probably help a bit. In fact, it was probably completely stuck, or just about to be there. Considering this is full, probably don't want the productivity modules. Probably do want the prods for petroleum. I guess we could add some more of these. And... This is starting to drain. It is. That's about as much as I'm going to build here. Well, I don't know. It really is taking a bit longer to fill up than I thought it might. So we need 84.32k in total. And this thing, it's not going full speed. It's kind of close to it. Um, so I think this is going full speed, or just about. Yeah, close to it. We're looking at like 24 liquid rocket fuel per second. 
about 80,000 to go. Which is going to take most of an hour. Hmm. Uh, could we perhaps... Double this? And over here as well. And then that pipe is all messed up. Um, one, two, three. That still leaves no room for that one. That's not going to work either. What a nuisance. the old pipe spaghetti. The ghetto refinery. <laughs> I just wanted to throw together the minimum to get this done, but I'm shocked at how long it's going to take. Um, if I wanted... I, I was thinking actually when I started building this that it was like super overkill for me to worry about the ratios for this uh, last time I did it. But no, actually, it takes like an hour to get enough, um, enough to go back. I guess we'll do one more of these. And wonder how that's going to connect. Right, so this should be going full speed now. Almost. Which means this should probably go full speed. Yeah, it's good. So that gets us all the way up to like 24.8. Can't believe you missed my joke. Why double when you can four buy? Oh no. It's the Queensland way. More Factorio. Sorry, fat boy. I tend to read the chat in reverse order when I check on it after a minute. I'd like to have something set up so that, like, probably over the last. 10 minutes, there's just some background color or something that shows me how old the messages are. Oh, 4x. Oh, no, thank you. Sorry. Uh, that's a surprising amount of nuclear fuel that we've already got. That's good. Timestamps? Yeah, but timestamps don't um, how can I put this? You know how it could be a good idea to color code things if you're studying? Like, different things in different, uh, different sorts of topics and stuff in different pen colors or whatever. Uh, it's kind of like that, like, there's an instant recognition before you even, like, read the timestamp numbers, for example. 
Um, okay, now we just need to set up the stuff aimed at this delivery cannon. Let's see. Where am I going? Here. Uh, Taser DC. So we need one of each of these. This one. It's going to be a bit of a pain. Let's just do it like this. They can't reach this way, right? No. Maybe I should use red wire so it's a bit more visible. Um... That, that's not where we're going. What am I doing? And then explosives. Wait, what? I'm very much in danger of confusing myself here. This needs to connect to this. Why don't I just use the closest one instead? Like, it's already connected here. Come to think of it, why are these only connected? Oh, we did get four of these. Okay, cool. Um, I'll take the explosives and aim that one at Taser. Switch it on. And it should stop firing if there are any explosives in the chest. Uh-oh. Wait, no. It, it stops inserting when there's any explosives in the chest. So it's not surprising it fired twice. And it's delivery cannon capsules that it's not inserting. Okay, cool. Uh, next is copper plate. Let's take this one. Definitely an argument for having self-contained sets of these. It's going to get really messy and confusing. Argon80, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see. What am I doing? Copper plate. Taser. And... Off you go. I would make an array per planet. Yeah, that's what I think I'll do next time. Also, Immo, good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we need... this to cross over here. And this to be... heat shielding greater than zero. And then aim this at Taser. Fantastic. And we shouldn't see that fire more than once or twice. And one to go low density structures. Crossover from where the explosives are. Low density structure. Give it a target. And away it 
goes. Fantastic. Now we're ready to... Oh, I already set these up properly. Except that this is not set to... The right thing. Uh, so what's the channel back on Nalvis for this? Nalvis DC rail receiver number one. Nalvis DC rail receiver number one. And last but not least, I need to add this to the whitelist. Or fragment pulmonite. And away we go. It's go, it's charging. Fantastic. That's two uh, core fragment systems that we need to build in the rail network now. By the way, if power fails, you'll keep shooting. I had to implement a dead man switch by adding a green color. Only loaded fired if that was there as well as my only load. My only load if less than 50 items worked until no power meant it was always loaded. Lost a few chests that way. Yeah, I did set up a system that will not launch uh, if the transmitter doesn't have power. Uh, so the way it works is, that's a bit loud, uh, we've got our delivery cannon chest or chests, we're reading the contents of those and sending it to our decider combinator, and basically we're doing the equivalent of, for each thing that's equal to zero, output one of that, um, but in order to do that, we actually say each equal to one, and we have a constant combinator here connected that has one of each relevant resource. So, uh, so this sends a signal of one of whichever resource or resources that we want sent here. Any signal that's not being sent, um, the cannon's not going to send anything. Sweet, very smart, thank you. Uh, I definitely ran into a problem of, I built a system that was dependent on power, even though I was very sure that power wouldn't be an issue there, it turned out not to be the case. Um, so yeah, the only downside of this system, if you like, is we're not gonna use much of the storage space in this chest. I don't really see that as an issue at all. If I want more storage space, I'll have, you know, rows of chests or something next to the delivery cannon chest. And I can also point like multiple cannons at this and it'll probably be fine. Was it each equals one or something else on that combinator? The decider combinator is set to each equal to one output each, and it could be one or input count. It doesn't matter with the way I've set it up. Just want to take a screenshot for later. No worries. And I guess while you're taking that screenshot, I'll mouse over this constant combinator right here. Thanks, no worries. Okay. So I guess we're done here. Um, we do have fuel management. Oh, wow. It's gonna be a minute before we put any more fuel in.
we do need a lot more of this uh, nuclear power than I would have necessarily expected, but that's okay. All that remains is to set up coal and steel over here. Obviously a little bit more simple than setting up three of these resources. And, and then we've got a couple of core fragment blocks to set up. How much ammo do we have here? I know I brought a decent amount. This doesn't look like it. Oh, there we go. How about we do a little bit of that. So that should be fine for quite a while. I don't really feel like setting up the coal and steel as the next thing I'm going to do. I'd rather work on the or fragment blocks. But now that I think about it, we've got a few minutes before this rocket is ready to launch anyway. Um, I may as well give it the steel that I've already got. These things are finally cooling down. Uh, Kellogg's, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. My setup has negative values in the constant combinator without the additional decider. When there are no negative values arriving at the cannons, it f uh, nothing fires. Okay, so a negative represents that you want something sent. Finally, on my PC, not on mobile browsing Factorio, so I can follow. No worries, thank you for the follow. And welcome. What should I be doing while we wait for the, uh... Wait for the rocket fuel. I guess I could set up... Eh, we're already sending the Holmanite back. Like, by the time I get back here, there's gonna be... There's already 3,000 um, that's been sent back. Make it 3.1 thousand. 3.2 thousand. Hmm. What else is there to do on this little planet? Find a diamond. I could quickly mine some coal and steel for ammo for this, so it'll last a long time by itself. While we wait for rocket fuel, we can take a break to stretch and watch some ads. I have a sneaking suspicion that you are planning to spam some channel rewards, but I guess that's fine. Um, you do actually have a point, so given that I've gone through most of the stream time now without a break, oh, yes indeed. Not rewards? Wait, what do you mean not rewards? All right, let's uh, let's take a little break, shall we? I'll be back in a few minutes. Oh, I'm gonna save just in case something explodes first. And we'll leave a leave this beautiful beautiful build doing its thing. All right, back in a few minutes.
A happiness cookie. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Drood. Hope you're doing well as well. Crazy bacon here. Welcome. Good to see you again. All right, let's continue, shall we? We're still less than half fueled. Maybe I can do more building remotely. In fact, I'm sure I can. Unfortunately, I can't ride one of these cannons back to Nalvis. As much as I would like to. Uh, okay. So... Where's the... Where are those Spider-Trons? Is it this one? Good. I think we'll start with something simple, since I have to do it all by Spidertron remote control. Oh, did they go back and get the cliff explosives yet? I don't think so. I guess we'll have to send them back to base first. And speaking of... Sending them back to base. Where are our military spiders? Um, I remember I sent them through here and there was... There they are. They got a bit stuck. They're going to need a repair. Let's send them to this mall over here. Stop buying Streamlabs. Hey, the West dude. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> what? What's wrong with the uh, flame command? Oh, I just destroyed all of those... Uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Remotes, didn't I? You need to fix it? But it's working. It should truthfully say it's Veldak's fault. 
Should it though? All right, let's send you guys. Wait, you guys haven't. Uh, they haven't rearmed their rockets yet, but I think that's okay. And as for the construction spiders, I should probably change the color of the leader a bit. I'm not even sure which one it is. Okay, that's the one. Let's make it more orange if we can. How do you do orange? A bit less green. But I want a brighter orange. I don't think that's really possible with... Um, that just looks like the default color. Uh, unfortunate. Maybe a bit less red? No. We could do white, I guess. I don't really like that. Let's bring them back to where the cliff explosives are needed. And as for our other friends, they are still in transit. Made my new ship if if I will fill it with sand, it will look like some islands in Dubai. Kidoki. Okay. I'm sure by the time we play with these guys for a minute, the construction spiders will be in place. Should probably reduce my autosave frequency a little bit. Is it possible to make laser spiders? It is. They do have three lasers on them each already, but they won't waste damage on anything that's quote unquote already dead. Uh, if there's rockets on the way to a target that are already going to destroy it, they're not going to use their lasers. So, if I run straight into this group, we didn't even manage to get the lasers to get started there. Also, I can't go too overboard with shields and lasers. Um, with the technology that I've got at the moment, the portable RTG only does 300 kilowatts. It's not super effective. How big is the army now? I think we're at like 10. I could easily add some more. Well, once I get back, I could easily add some more. I don't think there's any way to remotely put power armor things in a spider. There, we saw the laser. This is getting a little bit dicey. Alright, 
let's send you guys back home. And I'm a little bit scared to jump to the map because I might lose the remote or something. Let's send you close to where the rockets are. Here. And as for our construction spiders, there they are. Okay, so step one, I'm going to copy paste what we've got up here. Except I might just skip out on the actual train stops for now. Uh, Master Block, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm the managing delivery driver for an international food delivery service. Well, nice. So what's the name of the company? Duad... Duash? Huh? Doordash? That's one way of saying it. I don't get it. Uh, we're almost certainly not going to need all these belts here. What was that sound? It sounded like rockets, but that can't be. Uh, I don't really feel like bothering to get the spiders to go and bring the pulverizers. It's a pretty simple operation for me to do it. Actually, I need to check what the recipe is, though. Can I do it this way? Um, core fragment... Pulmonite? Well, I already checked the uranium one. Core fragment Pulmonite. Okay, it's just like the other physical ones. No fluid output, nice and easy. And that means we really can just use the same shape again. Cool. Wait, I forgot to check. Yeah, core fragment stone and hold on a minute. Oh, I did set that up properly. Never mind. It's fine. Yeah, we have to use a precise loader on this side because it's two different resources. Fair enough. And I guess since we're making three of these right now, it only makes sense to put them all in a row down this way. Copy what we've got here so far. Whoops. So it seems like as long as I don't leave the navigation satellite, I'll still have the uh, remotes. I would like to add a radar to this. Oh, we can fit it right there. Very nice. It's going to be super overkill having that big output for the main resource uh, for a lot of these different core fragments, but it's extra work to size it for the smaller ones, so I'm just not going to do it. Uh, 
iron throughput is looking a bit low, by which I mean we've finished getting iron, or at least from the mines. It's a higher priority to remove it from uh, core fragment processing. And I guess we haven't been building that much lately. just occurred to me, um, do programmable speakers, given the right settings, work across surfaces, or no? Heavy girder, the rest is straightforward. It might be worth doing that. If they are not different planets, okay. So if I set a, an alarm for when the rocket is ready to launch, but my focus is on Nalvis, it's not going to make a sound, right? The planets in space are actually faked. Well, yeah, it is a video game, but I do get what you mean. It's just a separate surface. They are different surfaces, yes indeed. Uh, Jax and... Uh, just welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Different areas of the same map. Or you could think of it as like layers in a image file, kind of. Only not actually. Global playback should do what you want. It isn't like that at all. The map is a 2D plane. So they're just really far apart areas on the same 2D plane? Huh. That's a little bit surprising. Okay. I think that is about as done as we're going to get it while we're doing it all remotely we could go back for some more modules and stuff what was the other thing i need to build oh that's right coal and steel over here let's get started on that i guess if they don't run out of uh rail how are we doing on fuel? 60 something percent? I may as well grab... Well, there's not that much utility in taking... I'll take the flat solar panels home, definitely. Uh, the rest... I'm not overly concerned about. I'll take the scrap. Not going to bother processing that over here. I guess I should just do... Oh, 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 oh. Definitely should have set up a cargo landing pad. Let's put that right about here. Make sure it's well re in range of the Robopot. Uh, scrap. Be gone. I was about to set up a request, but that didn't take long at all. Going to go now. Thanks for the stream. As always, it's a pleasure to attend here. Thank you. Take care, Wondergraph. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day. Uh, Alright, back to Nalvis, I guess. That uh, life support equipment too is slowly getting done. Where are our military spiders? I thought they were still getting resupplied for a second. I do kind of want to see... Uh,
just how just how tight the choke point down on this front gets. There are only three layers and only two of them exist. One is the ground and then the ore is painted on the ground. The second layer is where the player is which has collision. And there's the third air which is where robots and planes move if you ever play with a plane mod. The air layer has no collision. Makes sense, I guess. If I do a production view... Okay, that's... that's everywhere. I was wondering if that would be separated by surface. I guess it makes sense. But we're not about to find out how quickly we're burning fuel here. Still, I'm sure it's more than going to pay for itself. We're at like 75% now. A Christoph game. West dude, take care. Have a good one. Does my memory deceive or did I see you here earlier? Maybe I was thinking of another long name. Anyway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we haven't dropped off all of our media defense ammo. That should do it. I wonder if there's something I could be designing while we wait as well. I do want to do a, another iteration or two for the minimal ore mining setup. Although this one is quite good actually. I think I will go nuclear whenever possible. Um, and we'll just have to get more... Uh, there's actually three uranium four fragment planets in reach already. Of course, we're going to need to deal with biters on some of them, but we'll manage. Wait, what? Oh, I clicked on the wrong one. Let's see. Threat 3%, size is big. I guess we could clear them all out. That'd be a nuisance. It's not waterless. This one we've already done. And this one has 82% solar. Well, okay, if, if it's got uranium core fragments... No, I was going to say if it's got uranium core fragments, it can run nuclear power itself, but that was so much more work that I wanted to put in. And it's a lot more efficient, I think. I'm pretty sure it's a lot more efficient sending core fragments back with the cannons than breaking the core fragments down first. But yeah, uh, the point is, with three planets supplying uh, uranium core fragments, 
we can definitely make enough nuclear power to run just about everything on it, I think. Certainly these little outposts. Alright, back to the old Nalvis. I kind of forgot I had these guys lined up to automatically attack some places, but looks like we've only got a scratch on the leader. So that's not so bad. Shall we find out how tight this choke point gets? Speaking of uranium... Is it possible to turn spider roboports on or off? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Yeah, I don't think so, unless there was something patched since I last did a lot of things with Spidertrons. Dodgy, dodgy. I swear, rocket spam really goes a long way. I guess I'm comparing it to... Uh, I guess I'm just not used to rolling over them this easy. If I'm going to play with biters, I'll usually play rampant or something. Although we're yet to see those giant space marine biters again. As long as I don't care how many rockets we spend, all I really have to do is just dodge around at long range. Although, I can't really get close enough to use lasers as well unless... Uh, unless we get way too into the thick of it. So I may as well. Unless I want to just set the requests for each spider to only 200 rockets. Maybe 400. You'd probably only get a similar result then. Alright, so this is probably going to be the tightest spot. Let's move to the east. Right after we say hello here. Look at them try and catch up. Even the medium biters are having trouble keeping up with the spiders. 
I'm a little bit surprised. Oh, I think I see the shape forming here. Pretty awkward spot to try and build a wall, really. Oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. nope. There we go. Are we seeing the rockets finally slowing down? Oh, that's a big base. Let's be a little bit careful here. Now that I have your attention... again. Just keep doing an aggro and run until they don't have quite so many big biters. By which I mean behemoths. Are you using normal rockets on the spiders? Yes. I've tried uh, explosive rockets before. I would say they're kind of a side grade. Like, it's debatable. But they kind of get wasted on single targets a lot. And I don't really want to destroy all the trees every time I shoot at something. Okay, I think we'll clear this base out and check on our fuel levels. Oh, and this little base on the way back, but I think I can just automate that. Dunno, I always felt like explosive rockets were magnitudes better, even if half of them get wasted. I mean, they do less direct damage, so often you get a behemoth running out basically on its own. Like this, this one here, for instance. Well, that was pretty straightforward. I think we can just roll over this part. And we'll send them back to resupply. As for our constructors, did I send them back to base? I don't know. Uh, I'm almost a little worried. Where are our constructor trons? Uh, hello? They're gonna be right under my nose, aren't they? Like half the damage, but as AoE. So when there's at least two biters, it's equal or better. 
Yeah, but it's like surprisingly often that uh, that that's the case. Where are the spiders though? The construction sp up. Oh. Gotcha. Right where I left you. Let's put some signals. And up here as well. And then... Train stops. Couple more chain signals. I wonder if it's more consistent if it's this side this time. That's on the left, that's on the left, that's on the left. Yeah, that makes sense. And then steel chests. I could just copy paste this part. Here and here. Uh, let's see. LTN. Standard drop off. Can't see where this goes. Probably here. I need to reset the nav set for that one. Almost full. Now where were they building? Over here? Green wire goes here. And here. And what do we need? Steel and coal. So this is going to be... Steel... Requester... Okay. Steel. 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 And coal. And then and then and then. Uh, I think one belt is more than enough. We really don't need a combinator for that one, actually. Wait, what? That's a little close, isn't it? Also, rename second station. Good point. Read belt contents hold. Everything equals zero. Uh, don't forget to read hand contents as well. And then this side as well. And I think we can do the exact same thing for coal. And now we know where we can put the substations. Here. And... How about a little symmetry? I don't suppose it's going to work out the exact same way up here. It does. And plastic. Uh, coal. Requester. Coal. 
Cool. And all that's left is to put in the actual request part. Cool. Okay. And then I'd kind of like these to be symmetrical if possible. Are we not carrying cannons? But you just happen to have some anyway? Okay. Uh, I guess... How many is this? Nine. Has to be an odd number. Let's do... Two, three, four... One, two, three, four... And a one... Two, three, four, and there's... Why is there an extra one? Because I turned that into ten. Whoops. Uh, I guess we'll split this. That's... That, that, that doesn't look right. Two, three, four, five. That's because it's not. And this one's just going to be... From the top. That one is steel. Actually, I feel like I should do f five of these. Oh, we are doing five. One, two, three, four, five steel. So we can support three planets running off of nuclear and five planets in general. If all of them are using the uh, point defenses as opposed to the planetary ones. All right, let's send the construction spiders And check on our fuel. It is done. Fantastic. All right. Any last... I feel like I would have thought of it by now. That's a bunch of solid rocket fuel we could have used to speed things up a little bit. Oh well. Live and learn. Uh, not terribly fussed about leaving any of this behind. There's an extra core miner. Don't really have room for it, and... I think we're bottlenecking it on... We're actually bottlenecking on this fast inserter. And the stack inserters are barely keeping up with the one core miner anyway. Yeah, I think this is fine. It's probably going to be all the Holmanite we need for a long time anyway. Probably. I guess the next thing I should start thinking about is like this, but on a bigger scale. Since we're doing nuclear... Well, how much power do we have spare, anyway? Currently 168 out of 284. We could definitely fit another coal mining drill. I would have to move this pipe so we can push this stuff down. We're probably going to bottleneck on... No, I don't think we're going to bottleneck on delivery cannons if we've only got two. 
Time to get more levels in the stack inserter. Uh, we've got it up to 10 already. There's only one upgrade remaining. But, yeah. I think this is a pretty good rate for now, anyway. Let's go home, shall we? Now this landing pad, go. And away we go. Can core mining drills be placed anywhere? Pretty much. Um, but every core mining drill you place gives you diminishing returns, of course. Okay. Get some of this out of my inventory, please. Anything that has a core. Yeah, I don't think you can put them in orbit. Indeed. Can we core mine the sun, though? Look at these beautiful spiders. Just doing their thing. Can't land on the sun? Shame. Yes. Yes, indeed. Right, I want to get a whole lot of pulverizers. I'll wait till the bots finish uh, filling me up for the moment. Let's drop the minimums on these requests. Actually, just get rid of them for now. Up on one one two. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I have to request an Easter egg. If you get into a capsule in sun orbit and launch, you die. Oh no. Uh, I think that's it. Let's grab a bunch of these. And my noble steed. It's good to have muscle memory control of spiders again. I guess the military is probably rearmed by now. Let's send him on a little trip. Where's my spider? There it is. And away we go. Instruction spiders, please follow. Those are some aggressive ground crunching sounds. All right. So it's about time... Oh, we haven't placed those uh, radars yet. Or well, not this one, anyway. Didn't put a radar down here, either. Let's get that one first. I'm more likely to forget it. Construction spiders can go place that one. And there goes more of our beautiful cannons. Currently looking at 27,000 Holmanite core fragments. Considering at the start of this stream we had zero, that seems pretty good. Alright, that's our radar. The light on that looks weird and kind of cool. It looks a lot more like it is just a giant torch on the white spider. 
All right, I'm going to copy this bit and be ready to immediately change the details so we don't get a train coming before we're ready. Uh, so we need to change this to night core fragment. And I'll change the name of this one as well. Cool. And we should already have a train wanting to bring that to us. Quite soon. There it goes. Look how quickly it gets to the pickup from the uh, from the depot. Lovely. All right, so this needs to change to Holmanite. I'll copy it down this way and then copy paste that. Did I not bring enough of these, or is it just... I may not have brought enough. Wait, where am I? I might not have enough uh, rod modules, but the spiders can take care of that. Five to go. Yeah, I need some more. How many is this? Ninety. That was more than I was expecting. I guess we'll rush back in our speedy spider. And what's going on here? Fulminate. Love seeing the inserters doing that wave motion. Wait, what? Why is this... Why is this one backwards? That's weird. I wonder if the same mistake is up here. It is. Which means... It's not here yet. Wavy, wavy, wavy inserters. Uh... Wait, where am I? Give to me... There's only nine pulverizers here. Why do we have no iron plate? There's 15 on the way. I think we just don't have a big enough request to build these super quickly. Considering the entire iron plate... Uh... Considering the entire bus is saturated, and we haven't had any iron issues for a long time. Hmm, this is gonna take a moment. Um, I can give it some iron plate, I can steal this iron plate. That's surprisingly slow. 30 seconds base time. And we need 18 of them just to finish this build and then another 90. We're at 11, 12. Take my steel. Okay. Um, I guess while we wait for that, I'll drop this in for the next one. Remove the constant combinators for now. And this is going to be... 
Uh, uranium core fragment. Wait, that was way too fast. Then over here as well. Uranium core fragment. And uranium core fragment. Fantastic. probably stand to change the name of this pickup as well, since we're going to be getting Holmanite out of it. And then, and then, and then, and then, 21 of these already. That's pretty good. Let's finish the middle build, and hopefully by the time we go back for that, there'll be 90. I mean, I'm sure it will, actually. I think they've built everything they can here. Yo, finally got the spider, congrats, thank you. Of to Silent Techo. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, let's make sure we don't miss that rail. Or the signals. And it looks like we're almost here. Fantastic. Nice sewer. Still missing a little bit of rail here. And here. This one looks okay. And we know this one's good. Alright. It feels weird having the inserters take from the north there. Oh, you've been here a long time. My apologies. I think you can stay for a moment though. I don't think I have the spiders carrying efficiency modules. So this is no surprise. And we may as well set the conditions for these ones. Wire, red wire, I call over uranium core fragments. And down here is going to be regular old uranium. Nice. And I need to actually set the recipe for these ones. That's fast. Okay, is that set all of them? I think so. And just to double check the middle one. We're not trying to produce any cryonite or anything. Wait a minute. Oh no. This is a problem. 
This is supposed to say Holmanite. And this one. And this one. And this one. And this one. And down here. Uranium. Oh, we already sent some uranium down here, probably. No, it looks like we just barely made it in time. What are the odds of that? But we're gonna have to take the... That's a lot, actually. Take the Holmanite out of here. Um, might be a problem, actually. Maybe I should have just left it there for the most part until there's one train load. No. I'm just going to turn these splitters around for the moment. So we don't have the slightest chance of filling these chests up before I move this stuff over. Let's start from the left and be systematic. Okay. This is going to take a minute. I could make some more space in my inventory to make it go a bit smoother. Or a lot smoother. Most of the way there now. And then... I think that's it. We can tell from the filters that there's no Holmanite in there. This is looking a bit slower than it should be. The important thing is that each cargo wagon is equal. Kind of. That's looking a bit better. I guess, uh, Holmanite. It looks like Holmanite gives us the same ratio and speed as Cryonite. So that was certainly no waste, having those belts there. Yeah, it's exactly the same. That's kind of cool, actually. Let's go get our... 87... Uh... 87 more pulverizers. Sure, we've got them by now. 35? That's not 87. Pretty sure 35 is less than 87. Actually. Unfortunate. Is everything else done here, though? I think it is. That's a lot of core fragments. Well, I mean... I'm just not used to seeing them saturating a belt like that, especially the uranium ones. 
I know they've been accumulating for a while. For one dark second there, I thought I'd neglected beacons for these things, but no, it's fine. Um, I guess we have no further need of... Wait, we don't have pulverizers in that train, do we? I don't think we do. Yeah, let's send you back. And construction spiders go back as well. Military spiders have some fun. And actually, it's about time to find a stream to raid. So we'll give it a bit of a save right about there. And make sure this isn't limited to 72. That would be frustratingly close to what we need. How much can fit in here? 240? Let's stop it at 200. That would have been very helpful uh, if I'd set such a high limit for this before. Save. And Factorio. On the old Twitch. Let's see who is streaming it. We got Mucky. I think it's been a minute since we raided Mucky, and he did drop by earlier. Uh, no, I do feel like returning the favor today. Alright, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or requests or anything, by all means let me know. And thanks for hanging out today. Take care, fat boy. Wait, where did the raid go? Did I mess up the raid? Mate, thank you. Thank you for the subscription. That's, uh, that's Already have a raid in process. I can't click it though. Hacks. What can I do? Thank you for joining because I needed your name so that I could put your name in my base because you asked for my, your name in my base. And I finally got set up to do that. So now I have it copied. And I, can, so I couldn't find you on Twitch. There's a lot of Tyrannosauruses, but they don't spell it like you do. Well, th this is going swell. Yeah, I know we're like pull four or five of them out, and then they just keep coming right, back. I'm, we, I'm coming to you. We need an archer. Uh, need a bigger. Sneaky stream still going? I'm trying. It didn't come up with the usual button when I pressed slash raid. Can I like cancel the raid to try it again? Let's turn down Mucky for the moment. How do I cancel a raid in process with a command? Start a goal. No, thank you. Raid. Monkey. Already have a raid in process. This is unfortunate. Um, I don't know what else I can do. I'll have a look at the Twitch dashboard. And I'll give Factorio a pause. Alright, I've made some improvements to how we make lasers in addition to the doubling that other people, the, the whole column that got created.
needed. Stop clicking on things. Oh, I'm very happy to see <laughs> I've never actually used this one to raid before. Where do where is it? I could try typing slash raid here. I've got ten nukes. Already have a raid in progress. Raid channel, clicky clicky. Start raid. Something went wrong. Uh, I accidentally clipped something. I think I'm gonna have to give up. All right, guys. If you if you want to check someone out today, probably check out Mucky. Thank you all for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.